Hey, kids, do you like that rock and roll? Don't worry, don't be afraid, ever. This is just a ride. On the program this evening, Four Brothers Podcast. Welcome to Four Brothers Podcast. Today's guest is Supi Campbell, a legendary comedian. Yeah, up and coming. Yes, Nuri man. I'm a Nuri man. Nuri Nook. God, is that still a thing? It is still a thing. I see. I'm from just outside Nuri, like, and uh, when I, I my mark, you know, one of my gigs, and she was like, because in Belfast, I'm like, I'm from Nuri. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. be like this specific area. Uh-huh. Uh, and I was like, uh, you're not from Nuri. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, it's fine, you know what I mean? Like it's uh, no one gives a fuck. Don't say uh, that. Don't like, say like, no one cares. Yeah, no one gives a fuck. But Nuri Nyok, I my dad's Nuri, my mom's from just outside Nuri where we actually live. Mm. So I've got like a mixture of sort of accents a wee bit. It's What's uh, Nyok? What's Nyok mean? Nyok is just like uh just the type of person from It's like do you know what I mean? The way like you call someone a culture or something. Yeah, it's like a Nuri Nyok, you know. Yeah. The country or I'm not a family Nuri it's fine. <laughs> uh, Burn actually. Hmm? Burn. Burn. Yes, yes. I family up in there. Oh do you? Right um yeah, Burn's actually quite a nice place. We used to um there's a wee, like, fucking pond down there. We used to go down and definitely not smoke weed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's that there? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Burns lovely. But that's what I'm saying. I'm sort of just outside Nuri, like in a wee village outside it. Um, mm-hmm. But the accents in Nuri are fucking mental because I didn't see a culture until I went to secondary school. <laughs> and, uh, it was like Take a, you to the zoo. <laughs> yeah, it was like a fucking petting zoo. School like, trip. <laughs> yeah, just feed them spuds. Like, like <laughs> but, uh, Tractor! <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, literally, I'm not even joking, there was a big... Big Hallian, like fucking Jesse B. Hans in my first year class, and I heard him speak, and I was like, a foreign exchange student in here or something. Like, I couldn't understand him. Like, He's not blue. <laughs> I was like, what does that smell, bro? And then, uh, yeah, I just realized that, like, the school I went to was just like a load of cultures and then like a load of townies, like, sort of mix, mixed yeah. in. Like, it was fucking mad. Yeah. Um, but people would say, one of my first jokes about it was like, you know, about being from Newry and. We've got cultures in Yuri, but yeah. you know the cultures in Yuri are real cultures, not the ones you have in Belfast. Where if you don't live within a hundred yards of Victoria Square, you smell like shit. Uh, like, yeah. you know, it's like uh, and that was just that was like one of the first things. Wrote I was like, right, Yuri culture, let's go. You know what yeah. I mean? I but I would, I would call myself a culture. Like, nah, I mean we're. Rural, rural culture, ish, like, but yeah, we would say, yeah, I would say rural Backward, in terms yeah. of like you know just outside of a out city, of a city. Like, yeah, 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 out of a city. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, not, there's Belfast. <coughs> what else really is there? Lisburn, is that but a for city? culture, you almost have to live on a farm as well because yeah. it's that like separation as well. Yeah, because uh, they're always out far away on a farm, don't really socialize with anybody else. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and they That's get a one of the ones where people that live in the center of Belfast. Their idea of a culture is skewed because they live in literally a city centre with fucking skyscrapers and all that shit. Yeah. Um, if you can call it BBC Bill, skyscraper, like, you know, <laughs> like uh, to us it is sky but. tippers. Yeah. <laughs> but whereas I wouldn't call myself a culture because there's fields in my vicinity, but I'm not yeah. live on one. You know, so no. it's yeah, like yeah, 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 same type of shit as here. Basically, same exactly. yeah, I, same here. If, if there's a tree somewhere, you know, with it, or a bush, it's like fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Must be in the country. Fuck bushes. wildlife. Bushes. <laughs> like uh, here. Um, like we said before the podcast, like this was created for troubles, you yep. know, for people to move down here, get away from Belfast. Yep. So yeah, it's like we 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 don't sound like cultures at all because like especially yep. in this neighborhood, well, people always think we're from Belfast by like, the sea, and that's where everybody congregated to for the troubles, which is called Short Strand by the Sea, you know? Yeah. Because okay. literally just all trouble families, you know? Yeah. Where's that? Out the road there. Just okay. said, I mean, Kilock there. <laughs> Kilock. Kilock with a K. Mm-hmm. That's short strand, is yeah. I never heard it. That's funny. But yeah, again, another place where a lot of people sound like they're from Belfast or something. They, yeah, well, they are. Sound. They are. Yeah. Like, if you, you know? go to, like, the outside, uh, like, just up north a bit, is like, almost Ulster Scots. You know, the right. eggs and pens and all that. Yeah, you know, yeah, which yeah. Which is just... Portafogie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's weird because there's... Um, I have a um, mate of mine from Balamina. He's one of he's one of the comedians. But he's from Balamina, but he sounds exactly like he's from Kilkeel. Yeah, you know, he's, uh, familiar, he's familiar with Kilkeel. I assume uh, he's like just down like past whatever uh, near Burn sort of thing. Uh, um, and they sound identical. And I'm like, what mm-hmm. happened there? That like and. But I mean, and Kikil are so far away from each other. Yeah. Like, where where does that mix happen? Like it does you know sound I mean? very similar, doesn't it? It is not. But I think the accents here on this region, um, yeah. keeping it light. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, wherever we are. Yeah, but it's weird where you can literally go five minutes down the road and you need, you need a hire translator. Like uh, it yes, is not, yes, it's yes, actually yes, not yes, white. Yes, and then yes. even the different like wee colloquialisms you have in like 
in the village I'm from, like there's certain things we say, and then in Yuri they say different things. Like Yuri, I wouldn't say I'm in Yuri Yuck, but yeah. there you go, I've never heard that. You know, and we're you just that? literally heard that? thirty miles or something. Have you never heard that? Road? No, <laughs> never heard that. Yeah, that was that was it was that was a thing that I heard that a lot when I was younger. It it was like you know people classify people as Yuri Yuck. It's probably, yeah. it's probably derogatory from people outside of Yuri. Uh, you know my cousins would come down and they'd all get called Yuri Yuck. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, Nyeri's a fucking mob. And the thing is, technically, Nyeri's a city, like, well, literally qualified for a city because yeah. it has one singular cathedral or something. Yeah, shit. Cathedral. That's in, in your city. Well, there's cathedral here, so I mean, we're a city. Technically, <laughs> stupid, no one like, calls it a city, do they? No, no, definitely not. It's town, like. They have to say town. Yeah. yeah, I think the, fo- the football club is the only thing that says Nyeri City, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the comedy scene in Belfast, pumping. Fucking, fucking like, not wise, man. It's, it's class. Uh-huh. Um, not wise. And you said you've been doing a year? It'd be a year now and a week or two, yeah. Um, I have always loved comedy. I remember the like, fucking years and years ago seeing like Kilty, uh, Paddy Kilty on uh, like uh, on TV. I can't remember, was it Live with the Apollo? I don't even know what the fuck it was, but uh, I remember being like, that's mad, that's a mad concept, you know. <laughs> just coming up there and making people laugh, like just yeah, crack, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And in school, I was always a bit of a jokester and all, just because it was just, you know, the classic fucking, if he was any more laid back, it'd be horizontal type thing, you know. <laughs> and I was just always fucking around. It was never cheeky in school or none, which is mm-hmm. always, we, we skipped there, like, you know. Uh, and, uh, I was sort of like, fuck, I sort of enjoy making people laugh. So I sort of wanted to do it for years and years. And then um, obviously found the likes of Gaddis and Mickey, Shane, and yeah. all the rest of them. And I was like, fuck, this is a thing. Like, this happens here. Like, you know? Yeah. And then um, it was like the first time I found the internet, I was like, holy fuck. Uh, I can have a wank. Am I joking? <laughs> but, uh, over over Gaddis. A week, a week later. <laughs> yeah, not, over one of his bits. It's, it's not my proudest wank. You know? <laughs> uh, but just <laughs> <a> joke. <laughs> so, uh, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> but Blender uh, my balls. <laughs> bl- blend me any day. Wanking over fucking Gary the Bender head or something. What the fuck was I saying? Yeah, so, and then over lockdown, it fucking give you a chance. Yeah, to my head was wrecked over lockdown. Like I've yeah. got OCD, so OCD plus lockdown equals bad time. You know, yeah. yeah. I so built for lockdown. Like I love that <laughs> shit. Yeah, well, it yeah. was the best. Like, oh man, I, I I actually stopped smoking grass at the start of lockdown, which is I doubled down. Like completely <laughs> awesome. I, 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 like, 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 yeah. like, yeah. I used to sit and play Minecraft with my mates like five in the morning, stone cold sober, riddled with anxiety, and they <laughs> and they just be sitting there all like, right, man, like this is the COVID's best day gonna of my get life. Me. Yeah, <laughs> looking back on it now, it was good. I remember sitting and playing Minecraft, and like it was like five in the morning, no one spoke in like an hour and a half. Me and my mate were just down mining for diamonds, like absolute virgins. Survival right? mode. <laughs> oh, survival mode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were fucking deep in this shit, like literally. And um, <laughs> uh, he, we were just digging for diamonds, and I, he he was climbing up the ladder, and I was I was behind him, and he goes right. Back here and get the spuds on. And I remember just busting out laughing, being like, "What am I doing when I left? Like <laughs> yeah. five in the morning, like a fucking child." <laughs> That's the thing. If I even thought about sitting on a game to five o'clock in the morning now, I'd feel like a piece of shit. Oh yeah. But see, during that whole period, oh, oh, yeah. oh it was amazing. It, it was amazing. It was. It was like just joint after joint, games, yeah. movies, sit about, do nothing. No one cared. Yeah. Didn't have to go near anyone. It, it was felt. Amazing. It felt like a. Like a, like a recess or something. Yeah, holiday. You know? Like it we felt holiday. like just like okay, time out. Let's. Yeah, do, I didn't like, get that. Sure, did you not have to work through it? No. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, I we were, still like it we wasn't you know. in what we are. You know, we we didn't have, mm. but still. We either it was like no, it was like you know ghost town. Yeah, you could go anywhere. Like I, I didn't fucking listen. I just fucking went out of the house, walked my dog every day. Yeah, because yeah. um, I'm not keeping her in the house. Look. Like. Yeah, but One I just went to secluded places. Fucking COVID was inside. I think. Oh, uh, Bo yeah. Burnham? Did you watch that? Yeah. Yeah. Bo Burnham's oh, it inside. Was cracker, yeah. Oh, my it changed my life like yeah. that. Yeah. Although yeah. When, it, when it was getting to the bits that were quite somber and sort of, you know, very yeah. fucking eerie, I was already riddled with anxiety. He's like, yeah. I can't do it. So <laughs> was I at that point, yeah. that lockdown, I was in Spain at this point during yeah. lockdown yeah. by yeah. myself, so it was insane. And that yeah, lockdown, Bo Burnham, <laughs> <laughs> lockdown, I swear to fuck. It locked down. But uh, that just came out at the right time because I was yeah. just like up in the mountains, isolated from everybody yeah. by myself. And when that, I'd been inside this house for so long because the town I was in in Spain there was literally police officers at every exit of the town there was only four ways out and you couldn't leave once a week to go to the shop that was it and they knew that you'd left do you know what I mean? So yeah. you could literally only leave the time once a week. Oh, so I was isolated, and yeah. see watching that there at that time, yeah. it was the best. Like it really saved me. Like but you know, like Bo really himself did. was going through. Yeah. He was going like he going he had to time. stop comedy for a while because he was. And that's why you know, just like fucking stage. never gonna see Bo Burnham again. Yeah. And then it just went on Netflix randomly. It was like two right. days away. Yeah. You know. And I'm smart. He just done that. Like literally isolated himself and just was yeah. like. Yeah. Here's some yeah. top quality banter. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's it not way, the best. Like. It's not way. Even like lockdown. Not looking back on it now, I'm like, I probably could have 
maybe you know relax and enjoy it a bit more. Don't get me wrong, I still don't fuck all of us, uh, like you know. But yeah. looking back at now, I'm like. Well, had Tiger King. Well, you, don't, you didn't know what the fuck was going on. You didn't yeah, know whether everybody was going to die. Gonna or gonna end or end like, it was yeah. uncertainty, and my head was just minced. But yeah. I don't get me wrong, it was stages of where I was like, this isn't too bad. But see, now, like, working all as well, I'm like, fuck, I wouldn't mind a few weeks off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Release that again. Yeah, but <laughs> Lockdown it, number two. Yeah, it was, it's it's one of them ones where it was just, it was it was fucking weird. But I got so I got so much Xbox playing, it's not even why you uh, think. It's actually not. Danny's play Xbox, any No, we're all PlayStation. Same thing. Get out of here. Get out it's Xbox and PlayStation, right? He's part yeah, of yeah, it's yeah. not Protestant Catholic. Right? You play <laughs> Xbox, you get the like, uh, like PC is just agnostic. Like, but what he's what, you, what would you play on PlayStation or any? Oh fucking ever! Elden, 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 yeah. Elden Ring. Ring was a big one there. Like, yeah, that's the last you game that I still still play. Telling you, like Elden Ring. Would you play like any competitive games, Call of Duty type shit? Like, we used to a lot. Overwatch a lot. Over what we played, Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch played, yeah. like, Overwatch there's that new one, Hell Divers too. Yeah, it's pretty oh, good. Oh man, I've been seeing Everyone this. Here. It's good. It's good shit. Yeah, it's good shit. Yeah, 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 it's, like good shit. it's perfect for online play. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah it see, perfect. it's not on Xbox yet. I wonder why. Was it not? Wonder why. PC and PlayStation. It's a Catholic game, you see. The point of the boys were talking about the online. We were getting psychology. We were just getting absolutely decked, and then we were like, "One of the boys like, I seen this Hell Divers game, and I went on it, and I was like." Um, just googled the Hell Divers, watched the trailer, and I was like, "Man, this is some fucking like World of Warcraft shit. This fucking yeah. shade." And he was like, no, "That's the one from 1990." Oh, I was like, yeah. oh, okay. "That's the first one." There's it's like a top down one or something, yeah, yeah. Like, like Starship Troopers, yeah, pretty much, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? like a strategy is, type game sort of thing. Almost, <laughs> uh, it, I think it used to be, Ish. but now it's just like run and run gun, gun and yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. alien bugs. It's, like, it's really bad. Couldn't fucking it like, yeah, couldn't bad. It. It's a jump in as well. There's no like. That tutorial, no all that bullshit. Shit. Like, like yeah. there's just jump in the game. It's you're just there. A game you play. Yeah, that's there's it. no story or anything really. to it, really. And there's no like rank up to get this thing and all this. Oh, thing. Well, there is. But it's as not competitive. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's not yes. like needed. Where like no. you need like oh man, see when this Call of Duty come out, like I felt my virginity growing back because you could grind for like camos and weapons and shit like that. Like I was like you know being like right after get ten headshots here, long shots and all. And the boys like, what are you doing? I was like getting fucking getting the camo, getting interstellar camo, man. What are you doing? Madonna playing in the background, please. Madonna playing in the background. I was after like three. I was like. <laughs> Three in the morning on a Sunday night, and uh, I'd work the next day. Yeah. I was like, I've only got one more fucking gun to do here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we got Monday morning and wrecked. I was like, why do they do that? And then on my lunch, logged in and I was seeing the camo. I was like, worth it. <laughs> worth it. Worth it. Oh, yeah, worth Call of Duty's one of those ones one that fucking, you do grind. Like. There's one game I nearly got jealous over yeah. of the Xbox, and that was Starfield. Yeah, Jesus. Starfield. Apparently it's good. Apparently well, it's very good. Yeah. Apparently it's not. I haven't played it. Oh, really? I, yeah. I only, I, I only know a couple of boys played it, but this boy will jump into a game and be like, there's this new game here, 40 yeah. quid, it's class and all. He'd sell it to you really well, and you buy it for 40 quid, and he's like, ah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, well, like 40 quid. Martin, <laughs> Martin, you fucking bought bought an Xbox I just, that, just to get started. I, know, like, I was that fucking obsessed with it that I, that I even got a fucking Xbox for it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was... And then you cried. I, I cried. He yeah. cried for the Xbox. It was, it was, it was disappointing, like, you know. Yeah, it was so it just bad, didn't like, live up to the hype, um, so he had to sell his Xbox. And now it's even come to the fucking PlayStation anyway, I mean, so... Yeah, what do you call that Doesn't game matter? that came out? No Man's Sky or something? Uh, uh, yeah, same yeah. day, like, Everyone was going yeah. that, mad about it. Uh -huh. It was literally just yeah. Minecraft with yeah. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The fuck is still going mad about it? It's smooth Minecraft. It's a lot better now, though. Ah, yeah, it's way better. Yeah, I did. I started playing one time, they like, fucking one Saturday night, I was doing fuck all. I was like, oh, job about it because it was in a like cloud game or something jumped on it and then see I want to like that game you're wrong about I, like Hell Divers or whatever I want to jump into a game and just play it whereas this yeah. No Man's Sky was like here's a tutorial how to yeah, make it really and I'm like, like fuck yeah. this man like I jumped into I love Assassin's Creed like jumped yeah. into the new one it was in cloud game and had to watch a whole fucking prologue. Yeah, they always and fucking was, hold your hand, don't they? Like, no, they just like, let me just thing. jump off big buildings, please. That's why you know, the, that's why I play Xbox Ring. Ring. No, yeah. I like, <laughs> seriously, any fucking Soulsborne game, anything from software, do play it. Yeah. That's why yeah, like, there's no map, there's no... That's your spec. Do not your fucking there's no fuckers. Fuck yeah. like, go I can't believe, like, after 40, 50 years of, like, games, they're still telling you, how to like, look up, up, press a look fucking down, button, look yeah. left. There you go. Now you know how to play the yeah. game. <coughs> yeah, games <laughs> that have optional <laughs> tutorials. I'm like, 
Yeah, skip it. Unbelievable. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> yeah, like, stop, it, I mean? like, yeah. stop it. Like, stop it. But like, I suppose it's for six year olds and all, isn't it? Like, uh, yeah, really. but see, Elden Ring, it's, it's it's for men, right? It's like one of those. <laughs> they seem sometimes I tell people I play Xbox and all, they're like, "What age you?" I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be playing PlayStation. I'm a hundred, like, or yeah, whatever. Right? Whatever it is, then PlayStation like, fucking harder. VR <laughs> it's hard for me these days to sit down and play a game because it does make me feel like a piece of Why shit. What's that? It's hard just, for just you. Just makes me feel like a piece of shit. Get horny? <laughs> no, the opposite. Oh, like, right, dick, okay. like software goes in oh, from, <laughs> software. <laughs> from software. From software. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. From software to hardware. I swear to God. When you play that, like, it just when I sit down to play a game, especially if it's anywhere during the day. Yeah. I just feel like an asshole. Uh, I feel yeah, like I should like be doing something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is true. That is true. I, I just I, can't help it. Like I only ever play like in the evenings and stuff. Like because I'm just like yeah. I used to be whenever I spoke weed as well. Like you know, I'd be like, oh, have we one in the morning here? You know, and you're like, yeah. oh my god, people are doing things and I can't do things. <laughs> and then you're like, I couldn't go to the shop if you paid me. Like yeah. you know, what I mean? I'm just oh, really? freaking out. Like we uh, <laughs> reminded me years ago we. Like, what, well, smoke giants and like sit in the car park and all, like fucking yeah. tight cunts, you know? And then <laughs> uh, one of the boys went to the shop one day and he was fucking like, he was white as a ghost. Like, and he went to the shop, buy a bottle of BPM, a packet of raw skins. And, How'd he, you do? and he was like fucking, <laughs> like, waddling out to the counter and all. And it was one of these shops where it was like, you know, a bit of a shithole shop. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. and, uh, but like, they, were weren't, they weren't wearing uniform behind the till. It was yeah, just I like some blade, you, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, he went in and he was like, can I get a bag of raw skins up, please? <laughs> and then she was like, look at the fucking state of you. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then, no, the best thing was, she goes, look at you, white as a ghost, stoned to the bone. And he goes, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> What do you no mean? one behind him. What do you mean it's him? And then he got back out and he's all, I'll never get in there again, lad. She called me out. I said, oh, She called me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why weed works so well for me because I just, I thrive in that. See yeah, that yeah, like, it's me. I love that too. It's like, yes, I am. Look at the state of it. I know. Yeah. I, I, did. I used to love that. When I worked at my first job, it was like a wee takeaway sort of thing. And I remember, like, sometimes on like a Thursday, I wouldn't be busy. Like, and one of the boys go for his lunch and he'd give me a wee nudge and be like, There's under the car wheel face. So I'd go out and have the rest of it. Like, you yeah. know, go back in there. It was one Saturday, it was dead. And we both got our lunch together. And we go, Let's give a wee one up here. Fuck it. You know, just share one. Like, you know, uh-huh. this man was a King Kong's finger, right? <laughs> and uh, we smoked it. And I was like, Fuck, bye. I'm fucking fucked here. Like, and uh, we go, Should I go back in here? It's not fucking busy. You know, I'll be yeah. all right, chill out. Go back out the back to a few dishes or something, whatever. I walk in and the place is fucking rammed. And the first thing I have to do is go over to the order tray and call out the order. So I'm like, order for... <clears throat> order for <me." laughs> and, the, and the delivery driver was standing there and he like knew the crack, like, you know. And he was all like slapping the table, face going red and all. He's all, ah, when they go for an hour and fucking look at you, pay aid and all. He was all, please, boy. <laughs> please, boy. I remember looking at him, like, like customers were looking at me being all like, what the fuck? I obviously stunk of weed and all. Like, you know, just... <laughs> Absolute <laughs> idiot, like you know what I mean. But I remember being like, I literally remember like under my breath, like looking at him, thinking I was talking to him, being like, "Please <laughs> help me." I hear it, like, "Oh, don't get like." I, whenever I got through it, I was like, "That was good crap." It was funny, yeah. like you know. But at the time, <laughs> yeah, at the time you're like, I, "I want the ground to fucking swallow me up." Like, yeah. funny but, that. But no, that's that's what sort of I had to stop. Like, it was good crack for a while, and then I was like, "This is not contributing anything to me." Like, but people uh, can function. That's, that's, thing, like, that's a smart thing to do. Like, it's not if you realise like, that there's there's negative. Th- the effects happening, stop. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? And like a lot of people don't do that. Yeah, they just keep going with all the negative shit, which yeah. they don't understand. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's, yeah. If there's nothing negative, continue on. Yeah, you know that's I mean? it. But I see, see, especially whenever you were having a wee cheeky one and working all that sort of thing. Nah, you, you've separated like your leisure and work time yeah. or your combined. Yeah. Them, like you know, what I mean, you need to keep it separated. Like, yeah. like I work in a wee a pizza place part time now as well. Like just a couple of days a week, do a few deliveries and all as well. I fucking love it though. Joints uh, and pizza, like I mean, I mean, I'm fucking to go <laughs> hand in hand. Go. Like you know what I mean? It's the worst combination ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good uh, but no that's what I'm saying and so I work from home in my sort of day job like and it's boring as fuck like because yeah. I'm just sitting there sometimes like maybe I don't call someone to like one o'clock in the day or whatever the fuck just depending on the day like I'm mm-hmm. like literally I don't say words sometimes the other day right and this happened like involuntarily I was just walking about the house and I just realised I hadn't spoken and just said Geneva Convention out loud <laughs> I, no, for no reason I don't even know what the Geneva Convention is I mean, you know, fucking Catalina wine mixer yeah. <laughs> like, I was like Geneva Convention and I was like I don't, I don't even know what that is it sounds like somewhere there'll be Voodavant though like, you know, that is a funny concept though like do you ever just like I've had that done that what the, yeah. the morning just think yeah. fuck I haven't spoken yeah. today I've, I've literally I done that it's not that crazy yeah. 100% yeah, you've been you like I haven't that. spoken to a human being all day oh 
yeah. Or even to yourself. Yeah, you know I mean, so, like sometimes, like like I have a dog. Jake has a dog. Like sometimes you go, well, in the morning, like get the fuck out, the yeah. toilet, wait the toilet, leaving that, and you're just like. I haven't said a word today. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the first time I've spoken. Yeah. It, is, it is weird. It, it's weird as fuck. But I don't know why I said the words Geneva Convention. Geneva, the Geneva I have Convention. No idea what it, do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. I've just well, heard it's like a political Geneva. meeting about something at some point yeah. in history. In ah, like then somewhere like Argentina was it about the freedom of Argentina? Look it up. Oh, oh, no is it the fucking uh, like rules of war Geneva or some shit? Like like Will that mean all this? Where's Geneva? Geneva uh, is it in it, Switzerland. Is it? I think it's somewhere like I that. Yeah, I don't know. And let me like, what's a convention? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It sounds like a convention. It sounds like there's somewhere there'd be like Goujons and Voodoo yeah. and all. Like it sounds good crack. Like yeah. I think That's it's one of those conventions with more like drinking babies blood and yeah. 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 like animal comic masks. Like comic Do you know what I mean? Animal masks yeah. and baby blood. My Twitter's full of that shit these days, though, man. It's not why he's like. And I'm like, f- where was this four years ago when I was a stoner? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? like, like Jeffrey, all Jeffrey Epstein oh, comic club. Like, I've oh, been in it for about ten years. You deep, yeah. Oh, deep, deep. And my brother was real deep in it, and it's mad, like, cause. You know, throwing off shit at the wall, someone's gonna stick. Like, you know, yeah. my bro was all like, I'm fucking telling you, man, they're fucking. See, this guy doesn't exist. No, he's right, he's right, it doesn't. And then, but obviously, he, but he got real deep into it, and then he realized he got too deep into it. But then, some of the things he did say, like a couple of years later, he was right. Like, I was like, oh shit. Now, I swear to God, like, but there's arguments like the media. Yeah, oh, yeah, but it's the same with Alex Jones and the gay frogs, and all I was like, yeah. really, bro? But yeah. they are hurting yeah. the frogs, guy. Yeah. I didn't see that. They literally are doing it. I didn't see that. They literally are doing it. They've actually come out now and been like, we've been genetically modifying frogs to see if we can turn their sexual organs into something else they've yeah. been doing it yeah. the whole time he was right <laughs> it, <laughs> it, is my, right. it is mental when you think of that and the reason why I still, so stop paying attention to it is because I was just like holy fuck man it's fucking yeah, that's too much sometimes but like, it's just like yeah. the new world order and fucking revolution yeah. and all that shit and I just fucking pull the front arms half of my room like <laughs> 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 what, what am I doing <laughs> 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 what, what, what am I going to do what am I going to do <laughs> 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 yeah, so I, so I don't know, do I just it. was like, fuck it. And then that's what I was saying before the start here, like, people, a lot of comedians make, like, political satire and all, I, yeah. wait, I don't care. You know, yeah. It's just, yeah. I think, <clears throat> you've you seen the pain and hurt it caused years, years ago, I'm like, do I want to do that voluntarily? Yeah. Does it affect no, no. me, really? You know, do I, don't I just get really on my care. life? No. You know? It's funny to make a joke, like, yeah. but oh, yeah. I don't actually really care. No, it's you know funny I mean? to make a joke, but I don't even know enough about it to make jokes, really. Yeah, you know what I mean? Only if there's something like, you know... Jerry Adams. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm familiar with, like, you know, the, the concept of politics. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but even, like, the, even, uh, like, Storm and, uh, being Storm in the game, whatever that means. You know what yeah, I mean? Like I was, like, like, I was sort of thinking of a joke, sort of like, ah, it's like, you know, everyone going mad, congratulating, and then it's like, fucking congratulating your dog for shitting on your bedroom floor when it's shot in your fucking bed for four years. You know what I mean? It's like, that's a good one. But what are we congratulating them for? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, fucking happy days, Uncle Juan Michelle and all her fucking stay in the limit. You know what I mean? Load of shit. Like, it is a load of shit. Load of shit. Load of shit. But, yeah, so, like, political satire and all is what it is. I just don't care enough about it. And it's, nah. see, it's one of them things where I don't know anyone that's into politics that isn't depressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're all, like, I know, hot topic, Israel-Palestine thing, right? Yeah. Shite for every party involved. Death equals... Yeah, that's not, it. Death no, no one's winning. Yeah, no yeah. one's winning. No, no, no one's winning. wrong. Like, not good. I mean? what, I, I, but no one annoys me. People being like, you should be out rallying in the town hall. Uh, and why? Like, what, what is, is that going to do? Like, what is it going to do? Stop protesting. Exactly. Fuck off. Like, even, 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 like, I... I and most of them people have a fucking clue what they're protesting. No. no, no never do. Why? And I... Listen... <coughs> that makes you feel like you're doing something. It gives you a sense of worth. You do that. Feeling, do Don't do. You, do you? But that's the thing. It's do you. you but also, there's I'm the people joking. that are like the the oil fucking protesters blocking people from getting like ambulances from getting to a heart attack well, and all that shit. Yeah. It's just like, have you seen that? Just shit? stop. Like, just yeah, stop. Yeah, like, sure. But I just like stop see oil cunts. Like, so yeah. there was actually a fucking old man who got out of his car and shot one of them. Like, Jesus Christ! Did Jesus Christ. Get out and shot was one a bit too far, maybe. <laughs> but it was always going right. to end up that way. Like, you know, oh, yeah. people having to get to hospitals and fucking shit. Yeah, like it's yeah. stupid. Like, it's I understand you're meant to cause disruption, but you yeah. know what I mean. I and then know. throwing tens of beans over the fucking Mona Lisa and all like, why is up like? Because there's oil in it. <laughs> Like it's an oil pin? No. Oil pin? <laughs> 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 why, why was I going to answer you seriously? There? <laughs> I was genuinely it's actually, asking. It's actually water, <laughs> water color, but I, you know. Holy uh, fuck. But no, but uh, yeah, man, it's just one of them things where, but uh, that's why I find I, where I sort of, comedy is sort of, you know, come around for me where I'm just like, I 
for good, for better, or for worse, don't yeah. really care enough about anything. Therefore, everything is free game. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like that's the way to let's do it, be like. neutral about everything. Like you know, right. and you know what is it? Stand for shopping or fall for everything. Like yeah. I'll fall for everything if it's good crack. Like yeah, you know right. I mean? fuck it. That's it. Everything's fair game. Like you know, there's nothing off topic. Like just yeah, nothing off topic. But I do have my beliefs. But yeah, anything I believe in. What do you believe in? I I, f- I I feel fine making fun of it. Yeah. Oh, certainly. You know I mean? There's yeah, no yeah. there's no like offense to be like actually no sorry I believe that so we can't talk about yeah. that. Mm. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you should make yeah. fun of it all you want. Yeah. You I don't think I mean? you should. I don't think if you're gonna slag somebody else about something, right? Whatever the fuck it is, right? If you weren't a red ball like, yeah. you know what I mean? I should be able to what? expect. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck but you, say it? My, <laughs> my ma were a red ball and I was advise you to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. Where it's like if I'm gonna slag you for wearing a red ball and I should expect a slag for wearing yeah. a fucking brown hoodie. Or Brown hoodie, is, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, and then accept take, the like, fact you're wearing a brown hoodie. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it that's is fine. It is. It's good you crack, know? like you know what I mean. But then it's one of the things where, as long as it's funny, I laugh at it. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's it. And I was doing a gig last night in uh, in Armagh. I was MCing for the first time, like hosting the gig. Oh, nice. Good crack went, went quite well, mm. and sort of asking the crowd what to do for livings and shit like that. You know, the fellow was like, uh, he what was it? He made. He sold cars for wheel, like wheelchair accessible cars or some shit, you know. Right. And I was like, already hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, so many things going around my head. That I was like, this is not funny. It's just offensive. And I just went, no way, mate. Anyway, you know, <laughs> class no job, way. You know, class job. Keep up the good work. It was work. just <laughs> the, the things I had in my head weren't funny or witty enough to be to potentially yeah. offend someone. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, that's I guess, not, yeah. You know, let's yeah. not. If it's something offensive, uh, it needs wanna, to be the, funny. Then don't want to come off like a hint of nastiness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's there for a comedy and no crack and all. But there's a couple of people there that were talking. Like these two girls came in on the break, and the sort of rule of thumb is if people come in on the break, they're not really going to give a fuck because they're not going out to go to comedy they just happen to have went to comedy you know what I yeah, mean yeah, 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 and they're there you. for a night out and they go we'll come in here for a few uh, you know whatever and they have a laugh yeah and they end up talking shit like they're whispering across people's sets and that's an MC <laughs> but <laughs> what the fuck the is this people were doing really well like people were doing really well and they were just not listening and whatever whatever and uh, you know I, it's sort of my job to be like, right, come on, fuck, like, you yeah. know, all this shit. I don't want to be a dick. But at the end, I was like, right, folks, that brings us to the end of the night. And everyone was like, oh, and she goes, thank God. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I have so many things going through my head. You know what yeah. I, mean? I was like, which one? Yeah. Which one will I say? And I was like, uh, you know, uh, it's a surprise that you actually, no, what is it? I said something along the lines of like, it's a surprise that you're disappointed that a man finished or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> she, was all like, she was like, oh, ha, ha, very funny. I was like, yeah, there's jokes throughout if you fucking listen. You know what I mean? Very funny. And then I, I just, they were sort of being a bit, bit cheeky back and I just just alluded to, you know, a theory that they may be OnlyFans models and everyone was like, yeah, yeah, why are you? Know? Yeah. <laughs> it was so shit. Like, it wasn't even a witty joke. I was just like, oh, I think it said something along the lines of, ah, oh, two girls selling OnlyFans in the front and you just want to give them a shout after. Some shit, like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes you need to do that and I don't want to be a dick. Like, yeah. let's always have a bit of crack. Like, you know well, what I mean? Too, but I do like seeing people that heckle get ripped to pieces. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Things to watch ever because yeah. if you, you speak... You a bit brutally. Free game. Yeah, for if you're a free game, if you're speaking and interrupt a oh, comedy right. set then especially fuck it. if yeah. you go to a comedy show yeah. it's different if you're at like a fucking wedding and some comedian comes on and it's right. just like you know trying to do a set and like you know but like if, if comedian you at go, a wedding if you go <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, yeah. it's happening uh, yeah, yeah no that, that is the thing where like corporates uh, I, I haven't done any corporates I've done a, I've done a fundraiser there last week in Orma football club it fucking went quite well it was one of them gigs that could have been really shit because yeah. Yeah. a lot of steam and footballers they're either going to love you or hate you like sort of yeah. thing you know and thankfully I've won done really well but that's the thing with like corporate gigs they call it you know where like uh, you're going out to them they're not yeah, coming to you sort of thing you're going out to them and it's like I've heard a lot of horror stories of like you know going to fundraisers and they play like a video of like fucking you know I don't know, like someone who, like someone in the club who died and all oh, this shit, yeah. you know, and then they're like, anyway, there's going to be a comedian on trying to make you tell a few jokes. You <laughs> know what I mean? Could have we done it a silence and then there's going to be someone make you laugh? <laughs> yeah, and it's just weird, man. Yeah. They don't really get, you know, the, the how to run it and all sometimes. Like sometimes they're like, we'll do a raffle in the middle. It's like, no, <laughs> let's not do a raffle in the middle. <laughs> but no, g- g- Gagan's good. I hope crack, I don't like, die like on my arse like he did. See you later. Yeah, it's one, of them, it's one of them ones where it's sort of trying to cage the room. I got a couple of jokes that are like, they're not edgy at all really but I've got a couple of jokes that like maybe like I could, I got a, I could DM a joke where I reference DMX right to the rapper DMX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I gigged in Uri there like 
a fucking couple months ago and it was all like 56 year old people so I was like right the DMX joke has not been told because they're not going to get it right <laughs> next thing you know I'm standing on stage and I was like so when I got DMX right and I was like oh no what's happening <laughs> and I just told it and I mean this guy in the front row just <laughs> oh no <laughs> not like pity it wasn't like yeah, 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 yeah. and I was like I just goes I'd rather you call me a fat cunt because <laughs> it was just so like oh man it just, I just <laughs> see down a hole it's horrible it's one and especially even like people go to me all the time like you know sometimes in work people are like oh you're a comedian tell me a joke I'm like fuck yeah. off you I know, know what I mean? am I a fucking uh, jukebox yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's what I mean whereas if I'm talking about a joke to someone and they're like oh will you tell me it I'm like yeah happy days you know yeah, what I mean I can't remember there was a podcast movie saying like that's the only thing where people would be like, oh, tell us a joke. Bad, yeah. Like, wouldn't be a plumber. Oh, here, fix a paper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fix a paper. Yeah, it's like, prove it. I yeah. prove it. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a teacher. <laughs> teach me something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I teach you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is one of them things where comedy's weird, man. It's fucking weird. I love it. Like, it is... See if you do good, bad, or indifferent. I died my whole that nearly gig. Like, I just one of them ones where nothing was hitting, it was just uh, the crowd weren't feeling it. Maybe I was just shit, whatever, you know. And uh, I just come off stage, and Sean McLevy, he had a tough enough one as well. He yeah. was the one that hosted it. I just come off stage, and he just gave me a hug, and I was like, All is okay in the world. Bad actually, crowd, it's fine, bad you, crowd. you are loved. <laughs> yeah, bad it's crowd. all right. But see, sometimes even down your hole, I, I said this to Connor Keys, I don't know if you're familiar with him, who's one of the comedians in the North. Like, I yeah, was yeah. like, I can't like it. And he was like, never say that again. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> I, not that I like it. It feels horrible when you're up yeah. there. But see when you come off, you're like, fuck, that was shit. It's good crack. Like, At least you, know you experienced that. And you, you know, to. You know how to. you feel. And you know, like, you're like I've died in my hole. i done comedy in 2010, 2011. Um, I was doing like what Kieran Bartlett kind of does, like the comedy songs. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't have any material in between that. I was tell, yeah. telling Darren Matthews this. But like the first time I ever had to do like stand up. Yeah. was in the pavilion when they first started hosting their stuff. Yeah, it's tough. And uh, I was doing comedy songs, which were okay, uh, but they, they didn't have a setup for it. Yeah. So you could hear my voice or you could hear my guitar. And I was like, fuck, this isn't working. So I just stood up and just tried to say anything. I didn't have any material. Yeah. And I just, fuck, I died. Like, <laughs> yeah, and it's one of the ones where I, see, I'm obviously still new to the comedy scene. Like, doing it a year is like, you know, for a pay, doing it a year. But yeah. like, what is it, 10,000 hours a month or something? I was kind of yeah. on my sets. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I've done like, you know, two, three hours or whatever. And I was like, just another 9,997 <laughs> to go. Like, you know. <laughs> getting there. Yeah, getting there. And uh, it's, yeah, it's one of them ones where I listen to my old set because I'm, as I was telling you, I'm doing like a compilation from my first year. Just like, I'm going to dead a bit just that I don't do it anymore. I'm just going to throw yeah. it out, you know. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, and I watched my first set, which I'd done really well on. First time done really well. The boys were like, fuck, that was one of the better first sets I've ever seen. And I was like, fucking unreal. I've made yeah. it. When's the SSE coming, you know? And then <laughs> uh, I watched it back there the other day and I was like, fuck, I was dog shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, well, I've seen some of your stuff on Instagram. Like like I was saying, for like, and Justin Freeman was saying as well, like you're one of the comedians he's seen that's just like, you know, just good straight away. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. immediately, Jesus Christ, if I had that, you know, the yeah. first time I was doing it, you know, you just, you, you have like a good stage presence and like good, like, you're comfortable. Yeah, you're yeah. You're comfortable on stage. Like. Yeah, well, thank you, man. Well, I, I see this thing, sometimes I watch myself, I'm like, fuck, you look comfortable there, but inside <laughs> you're just screaming, yeah. you know, you're just internally <laughs> screaming. Sometimes, there is sometimes where I'm still trying to figure out my style, but I find when I'm just go up and just tell the jokes and be natural, that's when yeah. I'm the best. But that's it, like. I was, I realised there and for two or three gigs in the middle, I was just sort of standing like deadpan almost and delivering my jokes. Mm. But my jokes are sort of a wee bit upbeat and all over the shop. Yeah. So it just didn't work. Like, you know, so, but it's, well, that's the thing is trying to figure it out. But then, like, Johnny Bo, I don't know if you I was going to say, like, he's like that deadpan sort yeah. of one liner. Carol Hagen, I was gigging with him last night. He literally just stir, picks one spot in the wall and stares at it and just stands <laughs> with his arms out and just kills a room yeah. with just one liner. <laughs> yeah. But Johnny Bo started off doing like, anecdotal jokes like us, right. like you know, like fucking me and whoever else mm -hmm. and I was talking to him one time in McCoy's and he was I was like what's it like because I'd be uncomfortable with silence sometimes and, and on stage and I sort of do like a wee nervous laugh sometimes which I'm trying yeah, to like yeah. fucking get out like you know um, <clears throat> and he was like yeah just get uncomfortable with you know or get comfortable with silence and then he was like I used to tell jokes and then I took an arrow to the knee you probably get that um, <laughs> <laughs> but he was like yeah I used to fucking tell jokes and then I just started doing one liners because uh -huh. <clears throat> he tried to get comfortable with silence and then he realised that he was way better at one liners and just sort of done it that way you yeah. know what I mean so that's what I'm saying it takes time to figure out your style could be like. fucking completely different in 10 years I can yeah, be exactly. fucking like, a bad yeah. musical comedian you know what I mean <laughs> like I actually <clears throat> I'm trying to learn the guitar and uh, <clears throat> excuse me uh, I'm trying to learn the guitar 
and I got so impatient and I can just do the Californication uh, <laughs> riff and yeah. solo and that's all I can do. <laughs> nice. But like, that's it's mad where... That's all you need. Yeah, but like, see, <laughs> even the riff, like, it's, it's, I would say it's like just below intermediate level in terms of when you're right, just get a guitar there, let's see you play it. It's the only thing I can do. Uh, but see, when it comes to hitting more than one string, man, no idea. Yeah. No idea how to do it. Like, you play an instrument, obviously, of I course, play you guitar, play guitar. Yeah. Who else play? Guitar, bass. Bass, you're a bass, man. Yeah. One of them, we just, Oh, yeah, I, yeah. Ones. yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, by. So, well, I I play guitar, um, dabble in drums and stuff. I, I wanted to be a drummer. Yeah. But I wasn't allowed drums. And then. Yeah. Uh, oh. We want Martin to get like, cause we play in a band, but we don't have a drummer, and we just have like backing tracks and stuff. Yeah. And then we want to get Martin like a, we bought him a drum kit like two years ago. Yeah. And he, I don't know what are you. What the I, yeah, I want the money back for that cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it. I'll play it. Uh, I'm only joking. Yeah, Some, I, someday. I got a drum kit years and years ago. I want to be a drummer as well. Yeah. Uh, my ones are like, fuck, I get him a drum kit. But it was one of them ones, like plastic ones, you know? Yeah. And my ones are like, lappy too loud. Like, like a they didn't take it. electric kit. Get no, it the fuck out of here! The skin was plastic. Oh, it, was like a, it was like a toy one almost, right, you know? Okay. But they didn't take it into account. The symbol worked completely fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just beating the fucking out of it. And my ones were like... <clears throat> Uh, I'm like, oh, just maybe, maybe yeah. do that now, you know. And then they see me beating the fuck out of it, and then they realize that if I keep beating the fuck out of it, I'm gonna break the skins on them. Yeah. <laughs> so they just let me do it, <laughs> and then it broke, and they were like, oh, oh no, what are we gonna terrible. do? Terrible. We'll get uh, to a new one, never. It, yeah, <laughs> but I always been the music and all as well. Like, and me and Justin actually started. He made music <laughs> on years ago. Yeah, yeah so uh, I fucking love rap music. Hence the DMX fucking joking, etc. <laughs> So, so I was sort of, I was sort of writing lyrics for a few years, just stupid things I would think of, you know, just for the crack. Like, and then I was talking to him one time, and he was like, oh, "I used to make music." And I was like, "No way, man!" And he's like, "If you ever want to come over and just record for the crack, like uh, uh, whatever." And then we've got like fucking ten songs. An album, fucking <laughs> <thing>. yeah, <laughs> like, come release an album, not an album or EP or whatever. And it's not comedy songs; it's like proper. No, like, rap. they're like proper and songs. Are, and you're doing it just for the crack, just crack. Just that's Another the thing is, it is all. Hopefully, it catches on. No, yeah. thank you, man. Yeah, well, it's one of them ones where it's like. Dare I say it, all a lie? <laughs> you know what I mean? uh-huh. Talking about like selling drugs and all like, No, I have no idea. Like, it just uh-huh. sounds cool. Like, it's just that's just what it is. Like, it's Go just a Sto- 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 stolen valor. <laughs> yeah, oh, completely stolen valor. Like, but sure, that's fucking every rapper ever. Like, you yeah, know what I mean? Percent. That's one of the ones where it's just like. Uh, um, we're not taking ourselves seriously when we're doing music videos we're just going to take the piss in the way that yeah. rappers always have like all the money they're going to hold yeah. a favour to me here and shit you know yeah. we're just yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Crack. Yeah. like yeah. we're going to we've got a couple of songs in the works that are like piss take songs like Looney Island type of songs oh, you know sorry. where but I think we've got we're working on one at the minute where it's like uh, the whole thing is like where does the worst concert a house party like yeah. you know like where we get chucked out of this nightclub and then we get invited to this house party but like I've invited myself to it you know what I mean <laughs> I'm like I'm taking my mate and then we just go and we're shitting in the kettle and all you know just like stupid shit you know we're, just, we're, like, yeah, we're talking about with the idea of like doing some comedy songs yeah because we are no, musicians like yeah, uh, I produce like I, I produce like rave music for a while right like, Dance music, I suppose, would be like. But well, yeah. we started off as a Beatles band, like a Beatles done. tribute act. Let's yeah. not tell yeah. that story again, yeah. though. Yeah. We've done it three <laughs> times, but we <laughs> yeah. yeah. our own music as well. That yeah. rock, you know. Um, but yeah, we're thinking about doing some like, um, like Christian, our producer sort of guy, came. Yep. He like toyed about the idea, like doing Beastie Boy style shoots and stuff. That's why we have yeah. like, you know, if you see the cover with Justin and the cover with yeah. Darren, it looks like a Beastie Boys up. We're that kind of, of low so angle we're, yeah. Doing, yeah. We're, we're, we're kind of running with that yeah. and then I had the idea where, like maybe we'll do like a party one of the Beastie Boys song for the crack like maybe instead of No Sleep to Brooklyn like No Speed till Belfast yeah. and like be like uh, I don't know just sort of like sort of the similar sort of thing you're at a house yeah. party and you just want the fucking it's like four in the morning you're looking for drugs Yeah, run with it I don't know really what yeah but that's the like thing that. we just sort of go there like I'll go to Justin's and sometimes I'll have like a verse written before I go over and then sometimes he'll be making a beat and I'll write to the beat while he's making it yeah. and he'll turn around and be like do you have anything first I'm like yeah I've got a verse he's like what <laughs> but it's just sometimes <laughs> if I get locked in I'm locked in I write stuff sometimes it's dog shit sometimes it's fine like, yeah, I, it's like, 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 like you know um, but it's one of the things where sometimes me and, like he'll make a beat and we'll both be like no, 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 whatever, fucking around with the flow, and then we'll just go, ah, it doesn't work, like, you know, no. and then just chug it, you know what I mean? But that's fuck it, that's what happens. Yeah, you're also you're do like a hundred things, and yeah, but it's not, one's gonna be good, I you find know? sometimes when I try and force it or try and be like, right, no, I want yeah. it to sound like this, yeah. it's fucked oh, from it the get go. Yeah, Whereas yeah, we just yeah. go, yeah. well, God's mad, maybe add in a wee stupid thing here, and then yeah. next thing you know, you've got a song, like, yeah, you know, that's the way it works. Plenty of times we tried to force something, and then you. 
you complete it and you say to yourself, oh, that's good. That's and good. Then, yeah. <laughs> two days then, later. <laughs> or like a week later or whatever, you listen to it and you're like, oh, That's terrible. That's like you get, wrapped, terrible. you get wrapped up and like, oh, this is amazing, this is amazing. And then you listen back two weeks later and you're like, oh, no, that's, that's terrible. not great. Yeah. What's going on there? Checked out with fucking yeah. ported in we went to London. That London. was horrible. Like. <coughs> Another story we've told too many times, but like, yeah, we went to oh. London and we had one song, didn't we? Nope. We well, had three. three songs to fucking record. Yeah, but we didn't have checked out. Well, no, we wrote that there. We wrote that on the retarded. plane because we needed three songs, I think, for an EP. Yeah. And we went to London and we, we had to just write one while we were over there. It was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it we had loads terrible. more songs we should have No, done. checked yeah. out started before we left. Did it? Yeah. yeah. But we, we tried to write it for that, well, yeah. that thing. Yeah. But before we left. The thing is with that, though, um, fuck, what song is it's in my head? Look, I've heard stories before where, like, Artists have songs in their album that they're like reluctant to put on. They're like, "Fucking arena." And then that's good. the song. And then that's the yeah, fucking yeah, of course. There's so. uh, the Blur, right? Uh, song yeah. two. Yeah. That was that's their biggest song, and that was pretty much like the the record label said, "We want something like grungy and a wee bit weird." And they sort of like, as a f- middle finger to them, wrote the most fucked up, grungiest, heaviest song that they could think of at the time. Yeah. And went there is go as a joke, and then the record label loved it. Yeah. And it, it became their biggest song but ever. It's, it's and not they're just like, "Fuck's sake!" How that shit <laughs> happens, though. But <laughs> see, I got. I got good mates who will tell me if I'm being a fucking idiot or if yeah. I'm if the song's dog shit. Like so, yeah. I came back to one of the boys' house and was like, "I used to fucking record music that," and he's not even a rap fan. <laughs> yeah. So we, I played it for him, and he was like, "What do you fuck?" I was like, "What?" And he was like, "That's actually fucking good." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> like surprise! I thought he was gonna call me. Like, you know, he, I thought he was gonna like allude to me being a homosexual or something. You know? and, I was like, what? and then he was like, "What are you gay?" <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck's that? Uh, and he was like, "Well, oh, it's actually good. Like, I don't, I don't like rap, but I would fucking listen to that. Like, you know." And uh, it's just all the lyrics are just disgusting. Like, it's funny. I actually play a few after if you want. But um, yeah, it does. Yeah. He, uh, he, is this a newer one? Because Justin showed us some, didn't he? I've got two know. or three on my phone here. Yeah. But they're not completely finished. I think his verses aren't on them yet. But I'll show you whatever he's having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he. So we went to Portugal then, and I got a fucking load of beers in me, and we were all sitting, you know, before going out, and uh, I was like, right, hold on, buddy, so I'll, I'll just do this here, and I'll not annoy the rest of the holiday. <laughs> Put it on, right? And they were like, that's good, man, that's good. And I was like, but did you hear this here a bit next thing, you know, it's on like five times, and I'm like, yeah. but some see when we get there, like, you know what I mean, fucking... And you're uh, blocked. Yeah, <laughs> steaming. <laughs> and <laughs> steaming, and I wouldn't lo- let it go, and I got on one of the one of the guys should be fucked up, and I was like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm terrible for that as well, like, oh, especially when I'm drunk, see. like, like oh, if I produce yeah, anything during the like week, like I'm just like, lads, lads, like, 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 I'll overtake the playlist, and I'm like, but here yeah. this, do you think that's all right? Is this, what about this one? Or like fucking sending just old songs from fucking like say yeah. seven that's years not ago as bad for some reason well that's Crying. just oh yeah <laughs> like I'll, I'll like i'll be drunk and then i'll go back to like our back catalog of like recorded songs and be like remember when we had souls <laughs> <laughs> but I think, so you'd have original songs from yeah yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. fucking fire them out man what the fuck oh, oh, they're, they're, out, they're out in spotify, spotify. Right. Right. no look yeah. at yeah. fuck fair enough we were in a there band actually, we actually played with you know search party and all those boys like yeah okay, we played yeah. gigs with them like really? um we were in a band back in like 2016 do you want the is that how long ago it was? Jesus yeah. Christ. For the crack. That's yeah. The Speaking of your microphone as well. I never started yeah, it for the crack. Huh? I never started doing it for the crack. No. It was always to make money, yeah. Make money. Well, I've always wanted to be famous and make money. Okay. Yeah, pretty always. much. When you were that young, you're just like, oh, I want to be a famous musician. That's that'd what be the amazing. whole goal yeah. was. Like. And then it eventually, it, obviously it was enjoyable because that's what was enjoyable to us. Like yeah. I was realistic from the start. Yeah. I, yeah. Know, I, knew, I knew that was, you know, and pretty much fucking, like, how hard is it? Like, you know, yeah. Fucking oh, yeah, but it's, yeah. Break the music. Well, that being industry. said, right? Many dicks need suck to get make it like you know. Exactly. Oh, I've, so I've been through why it, is there so many lady boys in Thailand? <sighs> What? what? Why is there so <laughs> many? Weird segue. <laughs> Why is there so many lady boys in Thailand? Can somebody please give me a legitimate answer? You you asked the same question last time. No, it was not on the podcast. Uh, Why? So like they're not they're all they're not even considered transgender, right? Yeah. It's, it's they're, the they're a separate genre of sexuality, right? Third. And they have the most like percentage of them in the entire world is compared to their. Thing, I don't know. But Hospital. if you think about it, Thailand, it's famous for ladyboys. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, oh, it's one of the first, first things so you think of. There's so many of them. Yeah. There's just <laughs> so many. You don't think, like, literally, that, like, there's no other country that has ladyboys, though? No, like, not like that. You wouldn't not think like ladyboys have oh! any oh. other or culture? Sorry, transgenders. <laughs> Don't know if we're allowed to say that. Every country has transsexuals or yeah. transgenders. Yeah. 
but not lady boys in that no. aspect of being a lady boy. Yeah, because it's you know? a different thing altogether. They, like. They'll never get a surgery. It will always be yeah. male genitalia. Have you ever seen when people get like boob jobs over in Thailand and you know places like that? The so they, they go there to get like a cheap boob job, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they come back home and their nipples are fucking clean stroked. Yeah, like because <laughs> the nipples up here. are what? No, no, they go to stool and they the nipples because they, nipples. because they give them they give them too many lady boys. <laughs> we need to give the lady boys your nipples. That's what they do because yeah. they need like convincing nipples. So or whatever, they are, apparently they stealing right. people's nipples. So like that must mean they're that they, they don't have enough nipples to supply the amount of lady boys, which means that's a lot of lady and boys. People in the Western countries can't move for nipples over here. So hang on, right? So why do you need the why do you need to steal people's nipples to put them nipples on to the lady boys so they look yeah. when they get boob on. jobs but when, they get when boob the jobs. lady boy gets a boob job yeah. does their nipple not does come it, with it if there's a nah, nipple yeah but I think it's, it's I think it's like not it's not, it's not, a, nice nipple. Like, it's yeah. not yeah. a nice nipple but why don't they like just cut their nipple off yeah. and store it in a wee jar <laughs> and then <laughs> You know, nipple in a jar. Re- <laughs> I'm just getting jar an nipples. image. Yeah, jar nipples. Jar nipples. Just like it. Just mm, I've but got still that one in here for you. Why? Why is there so many? Why is there need look for at, these nipples? That's what I want. Just a wee bag. Just a wee bag of nipples. You know, just a wee twenty bag of nipples. <laughs> Two grams. <laughs> twenty bag of nipples. Do it next week, father. Just <laughs> strap on them nipples. Well, what you do with them as well? You just get a twenty bag of nipples and just pour them out. Just like. <laughs> just, just try different ones on the mirror and shit. <laughs> Would you fuck me? I fuck me. <laughs> Nipple but no, for real. Ah. Hi, why is there so many? Uh, it's definitely some well, sort of. Uh, I I had a thought, but right. it's not. It's an epidemic. It's not the but nicest thought, right? right? Go for it. Is that that country is poverty stricken? Yep. Everyone's poor. It's so hard to make money. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So straight men are like, what does every English tourist want when they come over here? Most of them? Mm. Lady, lady boys. boys. Yeah. So even if they're not inclined to being yeah. transsexual or transgender, they're like, fuck it, I'll go through the surgery, get tits, and have sex with a few foreigners mm. and become rich. Yeah, yeah. I think well, yeah, Thailand, I, the tits off I'm the really sure, <laughs> is their like, sex laws are all over the shop. As yeah. Far as mm, yeah. And it's probably a cultural thing. It probably is a, th- a third world cultural sort of thing where they're like a tourist attraction Whatever you know, <laughs> strange. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, go up to the fucking, <laughs> go up to the fucking chance calls you know when fucking saying, buying like, a few fucking bays. You know I mean? <laughs> There's a weird version of Disneyland. Uh, that like, strange. Also, I mean, if you that's their Mouse. first attraction. If you get a transgender, <laughs> just one transgender person in a school, just say right. Mm-hmm. You know, eventually there's going to be more children. Attached to that, you know, it, it eventually kind of yeah, well, it seeps into the it, subconscious, like yeah, like it, it's it's. Yeah, but that's, different. that's a different things, thing completely you know? than ladyboys, though. No, not not really. So what I'm trying to say is really? that it's kind of a thing that, <laughs> you know, it could have, you know, throughout the years just got increased More in popular. It, increased <laughs> in <laughs> but in Thailand, we're talking about in Thailand, but though. In Thailand, in Thailand, yeah, yeah, in Thailand. Like a, the, the first, the first transgender in Thailand, and they're all like, I don't first one. You know what I mean? And then 10 later, like, here, that looks all right. I might try it. I might try it. His nipples look, you know, at least... They look as if the same color. Jesus. Where'd you get them? <laughs> Golden nipples, like fucking nipples on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> but the but you're right, though. Whenever I do think of Thailand, I think Pad Thai noodles. And lady boys. And, yeah. That's strange. It, it is strange. Yeah. That yeah. Cock. There's just a lot, like, the percentage of their population to not lady boys is yeah. massive. Yeah. You know? Did you ever see the video of the, the boy going over to... I'm assuming he's in Thailand and uh, he's he's obviously... He's paid for sex with one of them. And he's like, yeah. video and all. He's like... Hey, what is he? He call it's a completely transphobic, like it's horrible, but the video is funny. And he's like, Go on, Jeffrey, suck my cock, lad. <laughs> Did anybody just Jeffrey. suck him Yeah, sucking him off and he's Jeffrey. just like, Go on, Jeffrey, lad. And he's like, Get out, get out, it's fucking bigger than mine, you pick and all this shit. <laughs> and it's just mad. It's one of the funniest videos. But it's funny because he obviously sent this to someone on Snapchat in confidence. Yeah. Somebody's recorded it on somebody else's phone on a Snapchat on a broken phone. So yeah, the yeah. only video going about is like this on a broken phone. Have you never seen it? No. no, no. It's going about Twitter there for fucking ages. <laughs> and it's like it up down here. But <laughs> I'll try. It is horrible. It's, it's no tra- it is probably transphobic. Like, but the video was funny because it's just like, why did he think that was a good idea? Of course, yeah. people are going to send that about. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Fuck me. Not fucking ways. Especially Snapchat, like. Yeah. So, so see, speak. You were on about. Uh, you were living in Spain earlier on. Hi. Were have you? And he's ever. He's always lived here. Like, are you probably the only one? that's the only one that's lived abroad. Yeah. 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 What were you living in Spain for? If you can. I was growing potatoes. We said this a few times. He was growing we're potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Potatoes. Ah, Spain. Yes, I get it. I get it. Right. No. Nice, yeah. very good. Uh, full weight. <laughs> <Huh>? Full weight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fuck, fair enough. And were you 
you were you living over by yourself or what was crack like? I was over there with a cartel. A, a <laughs> cartel. <laughs> We've told the story on the podcast before. There's a few of them. Like I ended up in some dodgy situations, but I was over there with a friend from uh, from Africa, right? And uh, it got pretty crazy. Yeah, it got, got pretty crazy. Yeah, and you had to go back to just yeah, normal yeah, terrorism. Like, you know, I, think I think I'll just go home. Yeah, yeah. this is a bit much. Fuck yeah, this. a bit much. Like, a yeah, bit fair much. Like, I think I'll just go home. Like, you know. Yeah, you I really got at by a fucking giant centipede, wasn't it? Well, fuck I, just, well yeah, looking Story back on it, it's fucking hilarious. Like, but Jesus, Jesus Christ. Now, ways. How, no how ways, do you like, find? Well, I suppose you find yourself in that situation naturally. How everyone else finds themselves in that yeah. situation, where you're just like. <clears throat> Yeah. Where's the dough? Like, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it was worth the dough at the time, you know? Uh-huh. And then, but <coughs> Spanish people, and so Spanish people in general yeah. are very laid back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, the way here, if you've got like seven things to do in the day, yeah. you go do them. Yeah. But if you've seven things to do in Spain, you're getting one done. Yeah. If you try your hardest, yeah. you're maybe getting one done. So everything moves very slow. Everything's manana, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. So that made everything harder. Yeah. And then when you go to the other side, <laughs> They're even more laid back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So okay. you, you you know you're trying to get something done and it takes a week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas like I'm more like I just want to go 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 There's go. People go, waiting on you know their spots. I mean? yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And then you sort of yeah. But um, it was <coughs> good. Crack. Like you were mostly doing it for your own spots though, weren't you? Like <laughs> no, no, that wasn't the plan. No, no the plan was to grow enough to spot enough. seeds. Uh, spud seeds oh, to start wow. a spud seed company. Oh. Right. So oh, then, oh, but okay. in the interim, sell to legal. Spud clubs. <laughs> Spud clubs. <laughs> Spud clubs. <laughs> like the many here in Ireland. Yeah. Many here. So you go down, you get your, your fucking potatoes and glazed gravy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. uh, you, you then have a license to grow as much as you want for them. Mm. Do you know what oh. I mean? So it's legal. It's, it was, that part was legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's that weird thing in Amsterdam where if you want to get spuds in Amsterdam, if... Spud <laughs> Spud shops Imagine no one Spud. Understood what we're talking about <laughs> At this point Imagine someone's like What are th- Spuds 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 in Amsterdam What the what fuck the Are these guys talking about <laughs> Just, just you, not catching on Like So the thing is In Amsterdam uh, You can't deliver it You can't deliver the spuds yeah. You know yeah. what I mean The spuds you just Have to be They have to turn up Yeah they just have to turn up Like turn up Like turnips a, Turnip uh, joke there Yeah there is There's, yeah. A, there's a root vegetable joke In there somewhere yeah. Yeah. There's a pun For all Johnny Bo All this talk about food Is I'm actually getting a root But uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so well, that's fucking mad. It's obviously you speak Spanish. Uh, I spoke enough to get me by when yeah, I was there. Yeah, it's but it's, yeah. it's, it's gone you know now. Score back. <laughs> <laughs> Quattro gramos. Yeah. First thing I learned. Like, <laughs> Quattro gramos, motherfucker. <laughs> je, je Quattro gramos. Je ma- <laughs> get out. Get out. <laughs> or, or de voir. But no, I could speak. I could actually speak a you little bit. You like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. definitely like. Because I was going and meeting people in mountains that spoke no English. Yeah. So you just kind of had to try and get by. Why were you speaking in mountains? Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I don't have any buttons to press. (laughs) (laughs) Start again, what? (laughs) Start again. That's it. (laughs) Fuck it. Welcome to the four brothers. But I, yeah, it was was a wild one. No, I, see, I... Just sometimes the algorithm feeds you, you know, mad shit. Uh, I was watching this guy. He's actually a comedian, but he was... Big spud seller in America, right? right? And he was in contact with the Colombian spud makers, right? Yes, spud growers. <laughs> know <them> well. <laughs> and he, so he basically told this whole story. I think it was called The Connect is the podcast he has, but he's done like YouTube shorts, all these clips. Mm-hmm. So fascinating. Oh, you've seen him? Yeah. Um, he's like a tall, thin tall, dude, skinny, and he's put in prison and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He's seen a really him? good story, like. Mental. But he's a comedian, now. Yeah, he's a comedian, yes, now. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Class, Mental. class. So, he so made good. so much money. Oh, ridiculous. Jesus Christ! Yeah, ridiculous. Not wait. <laughs> he was uh, where the fuck? He was selling them in uni, basically, wasn't he? Yeah, he was selling yeah, yeah, spuds yeah. in uni, like yeah, you know, yeah. obviously, fucking all the uni dinners and all pot noodles and spuds. But oh, uh, yeah. I love it. Uh, yeah, so he, I found that and I was like, this is so fucking fascinating. And then he said he went to Colombia and they gave him like an ounce of spuds for like nothing yeah, at all, you know, yeah, all this yeah, shit. Yeah. And then he realized how much money he could make and like, how he got caught up in all this fucking, with all the farmers and all, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just thought it was so fucking fascinating, like, you know what I mean? And then yeah. years ago, obviously, when I was smoking grass, it was just like, you know, so, oh man, you used to get people landing you being like, good lemon haze in there. Just lie to me and tell me you don't know what it is. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Just oh, tell me lemon haze. I'm like. sick of you giving me fucking homegrown dirt. Yeah. Just you fucking watered with your own piss. Yeah. And then tell me it's lemon haze. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, it really no, bothers me. Right. Lost then in, smoke it. We lost the analogy like there. You have lost me now. <laughs> what did you talk about now? We well, lost potatoes. the analogy. You can get these lemon right. flavored potatoes. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're genetically but modified. Like, like, that's the shit thing about this country. There's not really any choice. 
I think. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard to find choice. <sighs> yeah. I wonder, will well they legalize it eventually here? Okay. Uh, well, I, I legalize it in like Germany. Or one no, just I think so. They will the need to, like, it's Ireland need to le- legalize spuds. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, I mean, well sp- fuck me, spuds were illegal in the 1800s. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the the prohibition of spuds. Like, <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Uh, yeah, but it's. Uh, I think it probably will. I think it will. I think eventually, everywhere. Eventually, for everybody. Didn't you just follow the blind boy? I was going to say, do you follow the blind boy podcast? He's literally his cousin. We are blind boy. <laughs> yeah, I love. I listen to it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I yeah. met him one time in uh, Easton's in O'Connell Street or something. Without the uh, mask? No, he was doing a book reading. Oh, right, okay. I, uh, I've, I've seen him without the mask. Like, you know, very, very hard to find. Like, but yeah. Yeah, I've seen it as well actually because yeah. I, I I kind of ruined it for me. I was like, it was annoying. Yeah. I was like, I might have do that. You know Look what at mean? that guy. The <laughs> but <laughs> I <laughs> I went down to I bought his first book, the Gospel According to Blind Boy, and then uh, prepared a spud in the train on the way down <laughs> and uh, consumed the spud on the way over to O'Connell Street. And then I walked into the Asens and there was one one seat left right in the front row, right in the center. And like Blind Boy was like me to use away. Yeah, I was just sitting there. Pretty. Oh, <laughs> like, oh and he was like, he walked out and he was like, "This is the most sober crowd I've ever performed in front of." And I was like, "That's what you think." I'm gonna rake a spuds in me. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so it was fucking mad. It was yeah. mad making them and all. It was He's fucking cool. like I yeah, like yeah, it. I like his stuff. Like but him, like. he was saying, so I seen something on Twitter. He posted about something to do with like you know medical spuds uh, being legalized. Something and, and or it's been it's been cleared for like medicinal use in Ireland hmm. or some shit, whatever yeah. the fuck, or the EU or something. You know, so yeah. it's gar- it's, it's almost guaranteed to happen. <laughs> It will happen. It'll just be very slow. Like everything else here, it'll yeah. be last. Do you know what I mean? We don't even have fucking Taco Bell yet. I know. What's and that we're talking about, about medical marijuana. Get Taco Bell here first. <laughs> then yeah. worry about the weed. Yeah, but yeah, because then at the end of the day, like what, like, like the two go together. Yeah, of course. Taco Bell will just fucking it'll explode. Like <laughs> tell me, you <laughs> Taco Bell will explode out your ass. Oh, yeah. Marijuana. Yeah, Taco Bell. You. You have absolute Oppenheimer holding you. <laughs> Taco Bell. I had one in Manchester. Me and the woman went to Manchester a few years ago. When I was like, "Fuck, is Taco Bell here?" I've always wanted to try it. it. Oh man, it's yeah, unreal. Okay. But it's like, no, it is Taco Bell. It's like a suggestion of Mexican food. Uh, you know what I mean, it's, it's like, like <laughs> it, but it's amazing. It's so good, man. But I mean, <laughs> I was shiting all night. Vladimir Putin, like all night, <laughs> and, uh, left the room to uh, go to the bathroom. Whenever walked into back into the room that we were standing in Manchester, and I swear to God, my eyes started stinging. I was like. Holy fuck! Like it's not wise. It's bad. Like, it's bad. Oh, like, it is bad. Like, uh, yeah, like, okay. I, I done it several days in a row yeah. and knew and it was going to happen it was yeah. just like I don't care yeah and you always hear like you know from like the, like American humour it's like oh Taco Bell give you the shit no it's like how bad it could be we've got fucking oh it's fucking horrendous yeah we've got fucking Dolce Vita have you ever heard of Dolce Vita in here you know yeah Dolce Vita yeah, yeah. 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 it's really really fucking good because I have cousins up there and all oh, they're yeah, always going yeah. to Dolce Vita well he's got the one on the point then I suppose yeah but fuck it's for tacos no, oh, no, 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 Italian. No. Well, I mean, it's it's all, all pure. Is Italian. Fucking, you can get like chips s- yeah. and kebabs and all kinds so of. Like they do like a chicken yeah, kebab. Yeah, where yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, man, that I was good. Like, that's like two podcasts I've only been talking about Dolce Vita. Like it's fucking <laughs> mad. Uh, but yeah, they do like a chicken chicken kebab. So it's like chicken, pit of bread, chili and garlic sauce, chips. Ooh, it's dirt, shit. It is it is disgusting. Oh, like in it. the best way possible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's fucking unreal. Absolutely drunk food. Love it. Yeah, but they don't actually open late when you're steaming. Like depending on if you're you're steaming fucking during the day, so it'll be open like but. Uh, yeah, it's that pure like gorge out food. It's unreal, yeah. but it's 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 labelled as Italian food and it's blasphemous to call it that. Yeah, like, yeah, you know it's I mean? definitely it not. not like, it is not. But it's fucking great. There's, yeah. a, place, great, there's like. a place in Newcastle called the Hatch. It's pretty good. Oh, I, I I've got heard of it. Uh, buff- it's good shit. <laughs> buffalo chicken loaded fries. Good shit. Oh god. Yeah. I got Blue the mac man. and cheese ones. Good. I do like the mac and cheese. Nice yeah. do. Oh, it's so See good. The like. buffalo was it blue cheese on it as well? I don't know. I don't think so. Blue cheese sauce. Parmesan. Yeah. Is it, is it a game changer? Yeah, I. Do you know what I mean? Blue cheese, it kind of tastes a wee bit like, dude. Yeah, a wee bit off. So good. That's what I like. That's what I like. All the beard and all. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, but I, the first time I had blue cheese, I was like, ah, I fucking don't know about this here. Yeah, and then, I don't yeah. know about it. Still, I don't like, like just I blue cheese, though. It's like straight up blue cheese. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. sauce, it's the wing sauce. It's fucking good shit, man. You know what I've actually got into? Goat's cheese. It's yeah. got that real fucking funkiness yeah, to it. Like, it's real funky. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like actually... eating the farm itself, like, you know. <laughs> oh, what was <an> asshole? <laughs> yeah. But ghost cheese actually kind of tastes like um, mushrooms. Who, yeah, the legal oh, ones. I, the, I, the, do you, the, the legal ones? Like yeah. Fuck them ones. Uh, it is the like, the there's feet kind of... Some animals taste like the smell. Do you yeah. get that? Like, I, I think sheep... 
when but you it have is like, only them. It's only when you have lamb. Them. But when you have lamb, I, when I taste lamb, it, it smells like, like a lamb. They're all the same like fucking thing. Lamb, 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 goat, and <laughs> shit. <laughs> Do it, you want to smell it? It just runs into fields and smells like a baby lamb and give it a wee schnapp. Nice talking about you. I saw that one. She's got some lamb on her back. But no, yeah, I find blue, that sort of tangy taste. Sort of tastes like mushrooms, like yeah, yeah. Still aside, I'm talking yeah, about still aside, mushrooms. I mean. yeah. Talking uh, about mushrooms, have you ever? <laughs> I, have, I went to Amsterdam before and had mushrooms yeah. and you know ruffles. Fucking, or? my friend made me food one day and there was fucking mushrooms and it. it was raging. So it was raging <laughs> oh, uh, oh, he did not, did he? No, it was me. I made oh. myself. <laughs> Why did you do Why did you put that in my food? Okay, did not. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Uh, last summer, last summer, sorry, uh, la- September past there, my mate was like picking them, and it's so funny because he was picking them, and I was like, how do you know their real names? Mm. Look at them. I was like, yeah. what do you mean? <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, have you done? Have you done a sport print? Have you checked yeah. it? And he was like, you pinch it and it goes blue, and this con's color blind, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that right, brother? And then it. it turns out they were the real ones. I know, but see once you see one. Oh, you yeah. Crack that's it. Like, it. Yeah, you'll yeah, never it. mistake it again. No, there, like. There's a couple that look alike, but you just yeah. know they're a bit more orange, a bit yeah. more fat. Yeah. We, yeah. we, yeah. we yeah. pick them every year, like, and it's like, the first time we ever picked them, we went to this like stone circle, very yeah. like sort of like spiritual kind of place, and yeah. we picked all these lookalikes. Hay caps, you call them. Yeah. Yeah. And we ate them up. And we just ate about 100 of them, and we were like, this isn't doing anything. This yeah. isn't doing anything. It just made our stomach sore. And yeah. then our we heart went, race as well. Yeah, and we went I home actually, and had spaghetti bolognese, and then have. looked it up, um, that these ones can cause you heart problems and no, shit. No, 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 oh, no, 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 Fucking, uh, <coughs> they're picked in China and the, China. they're used China. to the, the, <laughs> like a petticoat tea or something. Yeah. Because it has very, very small, uh, like fragments of fucking psilocybin in yeah. it. Yeah. Like, because we did yeah, feel so can something. Get you a bit you know? Yeah. But it's Which not we did. mad. But like, I, no, no, I you're not, you're not breaking through to anything. Yeah, no, not I, even slightly, you know. I haven't done enough to, so, so we done in September and I was sort of a wee bit. You know, I stopped smoking weed because my head was racked and all that sort of stuff. I was sort of like, yeah. am I ready for, you know, doing yeah, this sort of thing? Yeah. And then I was just like, I just felt good one day. I was like, what the fuck is worse can happen? I'm only going to take a gram of them, see what the crack is, dip my yeah. toes in. Yeah. I know what's going to be. If I have a, a, like an a adverse reaction, I just know I'll be all right in a couple of hours. Fine. You know what I mean? I've done yeah. this shit for yeah. like an Amsterdam years ago. So I uh, went up to his house. He had the Liberty Caps and fucking munched a few of them into me. And it was fucking... Amazing, like That's it's good. so good. And I didn't break through, I didn't fucking see God or not. Yeah, we yeah, actually yeah. watched the um, watched the movie, did you? Sir? No, it was actually funny enough, it was actually the Logan Paul and KSI fight. Oh, the time. So, <laughs> no, not the Logan Paul KSI fight, the last one, the uh, to- KSI Tommy Fury, yeah, Logan Tommy Paul, yeah, yeah. fucking that Dylan Dallas. Bad, like. uh, no, but it was class because the referee, uh, or not the referee, the announcer, Michael Buffer, like looked like he was genuinely deceased. Michael <laughs> Buffer, <laughs> Michael, no, Michael Buffer might be dead. He went, like, no, really? not, no, not really. Oh, right. But we've seen the whole, we've seen the whole build up to yeah. that fight on the week of the build up and he was doing like his announcements and shit. He was yeah. literally just Joe Biden. Oh, my he didn't know what the fuck he was oh. talking about. Like, and we're here in uh, yeah. <laughs> to see uh, <laughs> it just it wasn't making sense yeah. the whole week. Uh, uh, we were looking at him and we were like, because we were all just sort of sitting in silence, and I was sort of looking at the door frame. The door frame was fucking around a wee bit, and yeah. I was like, that is nice, you know? And That's then we, all right. Then we, all, we all looked at Michael Buffer was announcing the fight, and it was all like collective consciousness. We all erupted into yeah. laughter. I and love like, that. Cunt's dead. And <laughs> we were all just laughing like fuck. And then, and then at the end of the fight, at the end of the fight, we were like, right, come on, you Michael, back into your wee black bag. <laughs> 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 Take him out in a couple of weeks again, you know what I mean? Uh, we'll fucking call him. Frost, him, yeah. and, him and fucking Walt Disney. Fucking each other, you know I mean? like, <laughs> that kind of shit when you're on mushrooms is just... We were in uh, uh, like fucking stitches, stitches laughing. And when we went to Donny Gall a couple of weeks after, and uh, he was fucking... Because tr- we took like over two grams. And he was like, I'm fucking getting the used to them here. I didn't want to break through or not. And I still want to be able to have the crack and talk. Yeah. But my, uh, my words don't work like whenever I'm tripping. Like, so <laughs> we were just sort of sitting there and... Uh, one of the boys goes, Soupy, put more fucking sticks in that fire. It's a great sound. So I was getting like the fire starter sticks, you know, the wee shitty ones, oh, and just right. fucking them into the fire. And I was like looking at the fire, being like, it's class, man. And he's like, Soupy, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, fucking putting sticks, but fucking fire and all. And he's all, you're fucking putting the fire letters in. And he's like, I'm fucking tripping, man. What am I going to do? Like, you know? So I sat back down. I just sat the fucking fire guard up. Like, I sat in the wee table and just was looking at the fire. He's like, it's class, man. And one of the boys, like, and <laughs> so stupid. I was like, you know, someone 
Found it out like imagine like imagine not having that like imagine not having that like that. But, but like you're like, literally going back to the first <laughs> thing oh, yeah. 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 the first thing ever the, the, the best it was he's like imagine like not having that and then not being there like that's class like you need that and then one of the, and then all the way one of the ways just sitting there and it was silence for about you know about twenty seconds I goes yeah you need that fire like and then twenty seconds silence some of the boys goes yeah man fire lives up to the hype. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly does. Like, yeah, it certainly does. Oh, it, yeah. Like fire is the most perfectly it's rated thing in the world. Like, 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 without fire, what, what nothing. Nothing. Like, nothing. It's just it is literally perfectly rated. Like, yeah, can't over exaggerate. Like so far, I'm perfectly rated. I remember everyone was just in fucking stitches laughing, being like, "What are we talking about?" Like, and we went out and looking at just solving problems, man. Just get into it. Let's get into the fire. I love it, Emily. And the thing is, as well, it's like you know. We can be seen. <laughs> we can be seen as like ah fuck. He does li- fuck all. He's lazy and all. Yeah. I don't think mushrooms. In my opinion, anyone does mushrooms. I'm like you're actually well fucking like you're well drilled. Like you yeah, actually know yeah, what you're yeah. doing. But not yeah, if you're yeah. doing it to be a fucking junkie. Like <laughs> you're doing it to be like let's have a bit of fun. And also if I learn something, happy days. Yeah. Like you know yeah. what I mean. It can be a bad even if it's a bad trip. You learn something like. Yeah. But it's yeah. like yeah. 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 we. Uh, I'm scared of it. Like yeah, it's I'm scared. Honestly, scared like, up until like I'll the... smoke all the weed ever. Give me fucking two thousand milligram stars of death. I'll be yeah. fucking hundred percent. Yeah. I take a gram yeah. of mushrooms. I know. Yeah. That I, I know that it's different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's yeah. a bit Michael of fear. Buffer. There's a bit of fear. You know what I mean? You're yeah. like, Jesus Christ. Oh, there's always fear. You know? yeah. We yeah. always the make first tea. Time we, we always make a tea out of it. Like, psychedelics yeah. of any fucking kind was acid. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck that. That was terrible. Yeah. Fuck oh, acid. Terrible. We were fuck not acid. ready for it. It's so like, way, like we, we, we've pretty much done ecstasy before that. That's all we had done. Like, yeah. That's the fucking height of it. You know, ecstasy or fucking drink or weed, but we, we just weren't ready for for acid. Like, yeah, and you know think I mean? maybe at that time, say I've never done anything like that. Like, but I think, <coughs> in my opinion, I have a couple of mates who have done acid now and they went to uni and done MD a couple of times, or whatever. You know, <coughs> thought, fuck, I'm well versed in this and they've done acid. And yeah. one of the boys was sitting in the car one day, and uh, one of the boys playing music out of his phone, like an ox lead. Yeah. He was like, "Who's on the ox lead?" And for the crack, the boys just wouldn't tell him, right? <laughs> Oh, bad idea. He was freaking out, being like, Where's the music coming from? And all, you know, he was trying to pull his hair out and all. And they were like, It's alright, man, it's alright. Fucking Jack's on the oxy. Jack's on. He's like, ah. He was freaking out after that. I was like, 12 hours of that, I'm good. Yeah, oh, that's the thing as well. That's last, so long. So, the, yeah. the best way I've, I've ever built this is describe it is mushrooms is like someone pouring warm sand over you. Yeah. And acid is like someone breaking a sheet of glass over you. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. sharp and nasty and yeah, violent. It's like, yeah. it should be good I mean? for parts of it, but it's the parts that are shite enough yeah. that I'm just like, there are uh, good parts, but like, fuck the well bad we parts took, are bad. Took it in uh, a fucking sh- <coughs> somebody's garage, and it was, like, garage, it was yeah. a good fifteen of us there, and it just wasn't working. Like yeah. you know, like energies weren't working, and fucking yeah. pe- everybody started to really freak out. And, <coughs> you know, it felt like we were in like a like a boat capsizing, oh, that's capsizing boat. Yeah. Everybody yeah. felt it. Like the the whole garage it tore us out like the garage. It you know literally. What I mean? <laughs> Tipped us out of the garage door, and the next thing I remember, I was crawling along the grass, and there was long grass here, and I just goes, I guess, and there's Jake's eyes, <laughs> and I was crawling along the grass, and we both just met in the grass. <laughs> Take a bug's life. Right, there you are. <laughs> we, we found each other. Honey, I shrunk the brawlers. <laughs> 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 We're tiny. We're tiny. <laughs> But Jake, what happened to us? We're tiny. We, we eventually, we were trying to find the rest of the group. <laughs> we're trying to find the rest of the group, and we've, I've, we fucking got stuck on like a crossroads where we're at, like a oh. sign, a, a Down Patrick sign. Fuck's sake. And we're, we were stuck there. We couldn't move. Yeah. Uh, it was, couldn't it was like a loop, so we would run this way yeah. and end up back yeah. at the same spot. So you sometimes you just find you yourself in unfixable situations. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. this is not working. We're in a loop here. Yeah. yeah. Fuck me. Man, no, we, the first time we done <coughs> mushrooms, we were in Amsterdam, and one of the boys had <sighs> done acid before, and he loved it, so we were like, oh, you're all right with mushrooms, you know? Yeah, and it was yeah. like, well, it was like truffles or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mushrooms, we call them, like, and then <laughs> he, we all done them, and whatever, whatever. I was like, yeah, it feels pretty cool, I feel warm, I feel nice, this is all good, I'm smoking weed, it's fine. Mm-hmm. And then one of the boys, like, the boy who done acid before, he was like, I'm not really liking this here. And we were like, well, it's fucking chill out, we're yeah. fine, you know, we're all good, no mates here. And then he just, <laughs> I just looked at him, and he just looked, he was turning green, and I was like, holy fuck, he's turning into a frog. <laughs> and then I turned around one of the boys and was like, man, 
does it look like Tony? And he goes, turn into a frog. I was like, <laughs> 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 but I think in my head, in our head, he was like the sick person of the group, so therefore turning green or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That wasn't wise, man. And then me and, me, me and my mate were going to get buy a packet of fags. I don't know, one of the vent machines, the uh, fag vent machines. And uh, one of the boys was sitting, one of the other boys was just sitting at the table waiting on us. Uh, and we both just, I like turned around, I heard like a voice in my ear, and it was like, well, but, or something. And I was like, turn around. I goes to the same fella. I turn around and goes, did you just hear? He goes, Cranny talking. And I was like, why are we thinking the same thing? It's like, <laughs> it's you know, like, like it's did we just come best friends? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it's ma- I was like, get out of my head. But magic. we both heard it. Like, right it is magic. It's like on the same wavelength. Yeah. 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 Like, like, tune into the same know? thought frequency or yeah, whatever it is. Like, easy. Yeah. Like, we laughed like, it. We were watching the. We we done on St Patrick's Day once and watched Gardens of the Galaxy. Yeah. And and this does not translate. No, because it's you not know, funny. It was it's and for us to laugh at it at the time, it was like we were just on the same wavelength. There was like uh, you know the very start. There's he's, 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 he's going he's, <laughs> he's going for the. It's like the Indiana Jones scene. Um, he's going for like the, the first thing. Guardians oh, of the Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like uh, Jaiman Hansu, that guy, the black guy, like a that's after him sort of yeah. thing. But uh, so Star Lord's getting away. And then the guy jumps down the cliff after him and lands and runs. And I was like, I didn't know he could do that. But and just, for some reason, that, that just was fucking the funniest killed us. thing that I had <laughs> yeah, heard. We're just that. like, you didn't know he could do that? I did not know. <laughs> like, 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 why would you know he could do that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. It was like, oh, we, we were fucking, that was it. <laughs> there was one day we actually, cause he, that type of shit, and I tell people things, I guess, all the time. They're like, that's not funny. Like, you know, even like the fire thing, he's got the fire thing because, like, he's done, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. drag is. But, me and one of the boys were sitting one night and we were watching the new Spider-Man game come out. Uh, no, hold on. We wanted to watch a playthrough of the new Spider-Man game. Yeah. It's something nice to watch, you know. Uh-huh. I typed in Spider-Man 3 or whatever the fuck it was and the old one come up and I remember watching it being like, it's cool the way they kind of made it, like looking like it's an old game. And, all. <laughs> and then we were like, oh, it's the old game. And we are like, is it? And I was like, them graphics are too good for PS2. And we were like, is this the new game? We couldn't understand, right? <laughs> and then we goes, I went back out and found the new game, right? And we, I watched like the, the final boss battle and it was like him, Spider-Man against Sandman or something. We were watching mm-hmm. it. <laughs> and Sandman had this big like you're in this building and Sandman's outside it and he's spawning all these wee mini Sandman and you have to fight them and all the rest right and I was like why does Sandman not just like make the sand not you know what I mean like why are you making wee men and all like just fuck up like, you know what I mean just, like, yeah like, I like fuck up and just like just ma- crush him to crush death him. with the sand you've got the sand like yeah. you're in control of all of it you know yeah. what I mean like just make the massive sand <laughs> yeah and then just make the, yeah make I big know. sand and then we were like right oh fucking mad and all we watched it and then next thing you know Spider-Man's flung way out to like you know the Statue of Liberty and uh, Sandman's throwing all these things at him and he's like yeah. swinging through and like you know going towards Sandman it's this big cinematic shot and my mate just goes that's not even realistic like, <laughs> of course not. No. No, no. But it was just so funny. It was like that's not like that's not like the Sandman I know. Down, <laughs> yeah, that's what we were saying. Down on the fucking corner. We're like, I've never that's seen Sandman in before. Like, like, no, but it was so funny because like <laughs> fucking obviously it's not realistic. Yeah. But I turned around and it was like, I oh, know, right? <laughs> oh, the, funny, the funniest <laughs> one. Uh, the funniest one I heard was. We're using, I don't know what you if you use it on mushrooms or whatever, but does it tell about the fart um Oh no no it wasn't mushrooms, it was a come down. <laughs> right. A week long come down right. of meth and ecstasy. Oh, delightful. Right? Nice. And we him and our other mate were sitting in a front room watching the Star Wars. Do you remember the new Star, Star Trek. Wars? Star, Star Trek, Trek, sorry. Trek, sorry. Right. The 2009 one. That would give me a calm down even <laughs> watching that. <laughs> <laughs> so but it was at that weed. time. It was at that time. And we were sitting <laughs> smoking weed. And you know the very end of the movie where there's like a the dark Star matter, Trek the red two, matter? Thing, isn't it? No, it's the first one. Is it? It's, it's the first, the first one, one by Eric Bana. There's the first one. There's red matter. And there's matter. an end red matter. It just, it's like an implosion. Right. Right. So the red matter just goes. And it stops. And in that perfect comedic timing of silence, he let out the best fart <laughs> I've ever heard. And it went in, like, it coincided with the movie and the thing exploding. <laughs> and it just brought happiness back to my life. So yeah, it was, it was, like, like, I was depressed as <laughs> so fuck. Yeah. And that just, the joy just so filled the, the, the body. The thing just you know went, I mean? and then his arse went, 
<laughs> then the big explosion on the screen. <laughs> but see things like that can just reinvigorate your life. I was, yeah. having, a shitty, I was having a farts like I was having a shitty enough day the other day, and I swear to God, I wrote this down on my phone, thinking I'm going to make a bit out of it, but it's going nowhere. So I just said here, I was having a shit enough day the other day, come out of the shop and just seen, and this so stupid, seen a postman smoke a fag in his van, and it gave me so much motivation. <laughs> I don't know why. I remember just right. going, he knows he's not allowed to smoke in the van, but fuck them, says yeah. he. You know, I, just going, I'm happy that I was motivated. I was like, right. I can't wait for the, the day to begin. Like, Asian people, <laughs> Asian people. Outside bookies smoking fags does that for me. Class, man. don't know why. They, they I was talking about an Asian man yeah. who's spinning the bookies all day and he's outside having a fag, yeah. and you just know that it's the best fag he's oh, ever oh, had. Yeah. Going after. The thing is, if it's like he knows that's his victory fag, though, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he, like <sighs> win or lose, that's his victory fag because he's betting and he fucking loves it. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what oh, mean? fuck, there's that's nothing more. Make me feel good inside. Like, yeah, like uh, uh, to be stereotypical as fuck, but Chinese people love betting and smoking. Yeah, like, and they're yeah. the best doing it. But I think, am I right in saying, I don't want to be, you know, uh, stereotypical here, but I'm right in saying that a lot of uh, people in Asian countries have like that defective gene or whatever that they can't drink and they go blush, the blush and all that shit. Like they don't handle alcohol as well as well. Yeah, yeah, apparently, so. apparently so. so they like got a lot more of lightweights. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, their yeah. vice is like, you know, just let's smoke with a fucking regal filter and <laughs> bet, no, bet in the ponies. <laughs> 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 Nicotine rushes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not ways, man. But <laughs> I thought about something else when I were talking about mushrooms again. Sorry to bring it back, right? But uh, bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. <laughs> we were sitting on it. Did you ever watch the Outdoor Boys? No. no. Oh, man. We just sat and watched this video of this cunt just make a fucking igloo, right? <laughs> or something like that. No, it's, okay. not, it's not those, like, um, like Indonesian boys that make the pools and all this. Oh, yeah, yeah. From, like, Canada. Oh, right, okay. And he goes and, like, just lives by himself for, like, two or three days. And okay, like, right, right, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, you have to, it's no bad when you have to go to the, up to the mountains in the snow for a wank. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, we were watching him. We were just, like, his class and all. And he was like, look, all his wee things and all. <laughs> He was like, what do you mean? I was like, just this we saw and all he needs that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what do you mean? Was bag like, of nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen that. And he was like, uh, I was like, what do you mean? And he had this certain scraper to scrape bark off the tree and all. And I was like, like he was in the house and all. And he was like, I'll oh, fucking take that because I need that for the wee th- tree stump and all. Man, like, he thought about this and all. <laughs> and he was like, what are you on about? And I was like, think about it, man. He needs all them. He just packed his wee bag and all. And he was like, he packed his wee bag. You're actually fucking you're right, man. You're actually right. And we were just laughing. And then we go, so watch something else here and we'll put it on the fucking the Microsoft Excel World Championships. <laughs> what the fuck? to God, right? It just came up recommended and I was like, surely not. So I, I, I swear to God. And we were sitting there. There's actually a, a fella from Ireland who's like the face of it, right? <laughs> it's not why he's called like Jeremy fucking something, right? You say Microsoft Excel? Excel. Yes, that's what he's Championships. As in Spread Just, just, want, just want to know if I heard you right. Yeah. <laughs> but I watch a bit of esports, I call you the esports, and when someone gets like three kills in a row, everyone's going mad. And I was still thinking about like, what is the impressive thing? Like, just do a mad statement or something. You know what I mean? It's like, holy fuck, equals something. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Spreadsheet, like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, but the, I, we were just watching it, and man, absolute neurodivergence like you know what I mean and even the host was all like he was all twitching and all it was freaking out and I was like is he twitching or is it just me and we were just watching it and the next thing you know we were taking the piss out of it you know going holy fuck stay to this here and then like 10 minutes later I was like go on Jeremy you buy you <laughs> it's well. fucking sick I swear to yeah. god because I'm a bit of an Excel nerd like I don't know anything I only know like the basic functions and all you know but I was watching it being like fucking master <laughs> holy like, shit genius. look at that but then uh, we were watching like 20 minutes of it and I was like why are we spending our mushroom trip fucking watching Microsoft <laughs> Excel <laughs> <laughs> and then we were like, I'll turn so, it off. It's so easy to waste your time because time just doesn't, doesn't exist. exist yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. exist. It doesn't you, could be, you could be sitting looking at the wall for about a half an hour and it feels like fucking... I, 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 I find like when you're on mushrooms... The thing that it's hard to drag yourself away from something. Yeah. The thing that you're doing is yeah. what you want to be doing. Yeah. And yeah. see to actually go right. Let's do something else. It's yeah. really hard. Like I went to the toilet, and our bath at the time we were all living together had like I think I washed our dog in or something, and it was like bits of like dirt and shit. Yeah. And I was just like looking in the bath, just like wow. Wow, <laughs> the best bath I have seen. Look at yeah. that. Look at like I was just. But to be fair, I couldn't drag myself away from it. You know, for me, there's plenty of things I've done that I've well, done. I'm like, I am not doing this anymore. Uh, Get me out of here. Yeah. This is evil. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is evil. Jesus, get that the yeah, fuck out of here. One of the worst things. Right? I was sitting fucking on mushrooms on Halloween. And they, uh, they, 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 had, they had the idea of watching a fucking Halloween movie, but I didn't <laughs> let them know I was on mushrooms. <laughs> so I just fucking 
sitting watching. Was it <laughs> Friday the thirteenth? Friday the thirteenth or something? Was it Halloween? Yeah. So Halloween. that was a horrible experience. Yeah. yeah and I just said to be like, fair, oh. again, there was like the three edges of the spectrum rise in the middle, being like, oh, we could watch something else. David's trip, and David was like, please turn us off. <laughs> and he was like, no, it's Halloween. We're watching it. <laughs> Fuck Halloween. Fuck it's your fault. You're like, like, you're 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 fault here. Here. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, my. Pure, pure evil. Yeah, you don't listen to yourself. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's man you, you just whatever the thing is is just so interesting I guess I'm saying we go try we'll turn this fucking Microsoft accent off and I go see who won first that was <laughs> <laughs> and we were like fuck me Jim I got done out that's a fucking joke oh, right no. but um so so when we had the Donegal one of the boys didn't have didn't eat all his all his wee caps so we were like one of the me and my uh, mate were like fuck we'll munch these here happy days like you know so we were munching away at them we were looking at the stars good crack and all and uh, <laughs> we sat, went back, sat in the sat in the in the wee kitchen at the table, and they were all out having a face. It was just me and him looking at each other. And we were all just giggling at each other, being like, "You look so funny," and all whatever, you know. And uh, next thing, you know, everyone else came in. I just sort of felt the energy in the room shift a bit, and I just yeah. sort of got a wee bit cold sweats. And I was like, <laughs> "Fuck it, don't feel great here." Go, you know what? I lay down. I'm fine. We're all good. Like you know, mm-hmm. went and lay down and just watched like some cunt on the Food Network eat like fermented shark. And I was like, "This is living by." <laughs> <laughs> I just came around. I was like, "Fuck, I that. love fermented <laughs> shark." Like, wow. And then I, I remember looking at it. It was like eating like the top of a fucking pencil, like the rubber. And I was like, "I lost class." And then, <laughs> I, but no way. Like you're always thinking of something. I'm a thirsty. I'm a hungry. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. Look at my phone. Um, I'm a fucking. I'm a warm. I'm a cold. And yeah. I was just sitting there being like, I'm just happy being a big fucking monkey here, like you know. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I remember like throwing my phone to the bottom of the couch and just being like, I am just so content with Don't whatever's happening right now, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember looking at the clock and sort of closing my eyes a wee bit. You know, my eyes one stage and the clock was just wearing a sombrero, and I was like, What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> like time for tacos or something. <laughs> uh, but I remember, just, uh, yeah, I remember just being like, "This is just amazing." Like it just never. You no know, way when you're drinking, you're always like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he starting or you know what I mean?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where it's like, you know, uh, most times I was like, "I'm completely just no content to be no in here." Like, yeah, oh, definitely. it's the life. Yeah, no, 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 fuck. It's so fucking like I don't good, even feel like going on my phone when I'm tripping. Yeah, no, I don't give a know. fuck what I my phone's just, doing. I describe no, my phone knows. as like, the, like man, see when I'm holding it, it's like a big slate. It's like the thing fucking Moses wrote the commandments on. I'm yeah, it's mental. It's too much. Like it's an ugly thing. Too much yeah. information. Like yeah. Yeah. what yeah, I found as well is if you watch a movie or a TV series or something with actors in it, they know you're tripping. Yeah, they know. They They're acting and then every so often they're looking at you like, I know, motherfucker. I know. And then carry on, you know. They've acted that movie for you. Yeah. So, and they know the crack and they're like I know you're tripping so I'm going to change this a wee bit <laughs> to fuck with you Terminator 2 you know give me a closure with your motorcycle mushrooms he <laughs> 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 just looks like can I say to you? and then carries on you're like, I you just fucking see that <laughs> Give me your clothes, your mushroom boots, and your mushroom no, right. cycle. <laughs> We're locked in! Something happened, right? and I can't remember really, but we tried to watch a movie. Was it Jumanji? Jumanji. Yeah. I remember, like, I remember, like, I remember, like, so we were trying to get Jumanji up, right? And I swear to God, it was on the fucking, it was in a DVD player, Right? But we were getting on as if, you know, you had no idea how it was hooked up to the TV, had no idea how Jumanji was on the screen, right? And it was all (laughs) getting very frustrating and not nice. Yeah. And then it was paused on the title screen, Jumanji, the words. So we gave up, sat down and looked at Jumanji and it all dissipated into like snakes almost and disappeared off the screen. No more Jumanji title. So we're just like. No more Jumanji then. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and changed it to something else. You know, uh, the Hobbit. Which is the Hobbit. Was made for you, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 the gods decided, decided like, like snakes and just <laughs> went off the screen in all so different directions, yeah. and no. it was just blank. And we're like, like right, do no not Jumanji. watch me, no not Jumanji. Then. Yeah, no uh, Jumanji. Uh, so we're just watching, you a spoiler, like <laughs> watching the Hobbit. It was fucking hilarious. Actually. The Hobbit like, was a good one. See the part where the Goblin King or whatever they're in the fucking the Goblin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and with that, what's your final thoughts? Uh, why would We've been going for an hour and a half. Believe Brandon it Schwab or not, is not funny. Who? Brandon, Brandon Schwab is not funny. Oh, That's my final him, thought. See him flip his truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he flipped his truck. The truck that he gets all the girls to walk to. 
like on purpose or? Uh, he was <sighs> spinning about in the fucking desert or something. Flipped flipped what a dish. shit himself idiot, too, didn't like he? Idiot. Don't like him. My favorite brand of clip is, and I don't want to take a piss out of people on podcasts because I. It's fine. No, it's no, no, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean like because I will at some stage doing podcast trip myself up and say something or you know like yeah. maybe have conflicting opinions or something. But yeah. he was like, uh, somebody was talking about like this guy got a McLaren or something, and <laughs> he was a big bastard, and he was like, why is that your first thought? Like if someone jumps in and, in and out of a dope car, like oh how does he get in there to that car like why is that your opinion on that car mm. you know taking the piss out of someone's opinion about you know a big guy getting into a small car and then they're like hey what about this new Ferrari um the fucking F whatever the mm-hmm. fuck you know and he gets it up and he's like yeah man as a big guy how do you get in there to that car it's like bro you just change your opinion in the three seconds oh, he does, he does it all the time yeah, all the time he'll watch a podcast and he'll say something and then it'll stop for 30 seconds he'll continue talking about something else and he'll just completely contradict the yeah. entire thing that he's just <laughs> said here so he just give I mean? people shit for having an, having an opinion and then three seconds later have the exact same opinion like he just <laughs> yeah. he, he's, he's CTE, CTE like, oh, like he's full CTE like, brain yeah. like sure, he, he tries to talk and he goes, oh, sir, you know what I mean yeah he's not and my you know what thing. the thing is I actually used to like him so he did this to himself. He was mightily entertaining on you know Rogan. I, mean? I think Rogan yeah. and it was more the, the UFC guy. thing for me when he was doing as an analyst. He was just analyzing fights yeah, yeah, before the w- comedy. Yeah. yeah, That was fine because he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it definitely had to add laugh tracks to his, his oh, sets, man. Oh, I, 100%. Not, he's just not I watched I Gringo Poppy. Like, <laughs> oh, did you? It was terrible. Yeah. So bad. Like, oh, it was not terrible. Not great. So bad. Not great. Cringy. I'm with that. Super Campbell, thank you for coming on. Thanks very much for having me, boys. It was amazing. Do you have anything you need to plug or... Uh, yeah, just follow me on Instagram at Soupy Stephen. Um, S O U P Y S T E P H E N. Jesus, how to think about that? Fucking hell, um, I can do that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, just follow me on Instagram. I usually post gigs when I'm doing there. I'm doing Wait. Justin Freeburn's head fucking uh, solo show in April. So get on that as well. Support side and supporting that. Um, user hectic podcast. User hectic podcast as well. Get on to that. I'm a co-host on that as well. That's great crack. Um, and uh, do you have any Spotify links for your songs? Or so they're not on Spotify yet, but just keep an eye on the Instagram, etc., etc. We'll be Sweet. posting it. Uh, we're probably going to do a music video shit like that as well. And follow me on Twitch as well. I'm uh, streaming on Twitch now. Yes, I'm a virgin. Uh, so <laughs> just watch me get beat by people much younger and better at me, and me blame the internet and then pick my nose. So <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That was hilarious. Yeah, yes, thanks very much. Thank you for, much, you. Thank you for coming on, man. Good crack. Thanks very much. Much for having me. There we go. You. And to that I say. So leave the fucking cock sucking cheese where it is. This man dick man.